everybody. My name is Nif. You may know me from Pretty Princess Club. I use she, her, hers pronouns. Um, and I'm here tonight to say to you, wassail gamers. <laughs> tonight we're going to talk about wassail, which um, we'll define that in a second, but we're going to have a lovely wintry time with a hot, tasty drink. Um, so what is, what is wassail exactly? Um, Turns out it can mean a lot of things. Um, wassail, as we're going to talk about it tonight, and you can say wassail or wassail. It's spelled wassail, so a lot of people say wassail. I like wassail just because it sounds nice. Um, but wassail is just a drink, um, and it consists of a few basic components, um, and you can kind of mix and match based on what you have at home. Um, and we also have a recipe for you that we'll be going through. Um, but wassail is just um, a hot spiced or mulled base, and that base is either like apple cider or um, wine, or it could even be like brown ale or even just fruit juice. Um, and you add a little bit of citrus to that. And then you add some fortified wine or some hard liquor. Um, and yeah, that's that's really all there is to it. Um, wassail can also be an activity, right? So according to my cursory Wikipedia search um, that you can replicate yourself, um, wassail is kind of like a predecessor to door-to-door um, -to -door caroling. Um, this is something that people may have done in like feudal times. Um, yeah, if my if my video looks a little bit blurry to you, I'm on low res mode um, just to make sure that I don't lag and to make sure that my um, video size is is correct for the amount of space that I have. Um, so I'm sorry if I look a little bit blurry to y'all. Um, I'm just not as high res as everybody else. Um, I don't know if we can fix that on our side. I'm taking a closer look, but this kind of just looks looks how it is. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, wassail the activity. I need to. Um, might be because I have my microphone in focus here. Sorry. Sorry, guys, working out the technical difficulties. Um, anyway, uh, y'all let me know if the, if the video looks too crappy or, um, if we need to improve or anything like that. Um, <laughs> anyway, so back to wassail. Um, wassail can also be an activity. It's kind of the predecessor to door-to-door -door caroling, maybe a rowdy feudal variant of door-to-door -door caroling. Back in the day, it might have been like, you shake down your feudal lord um, for gifts, kind of like trick or treat, but for grown-ups. Um, or you're caroling with your wassail bowl um, that you offer people drinks out of as you're caroling, which is frankly, really gross to think about right now. So, um, but also wassail could be um, in various cider growing, apple cider um, growing counties in England and the British Isles. It could be like a big celebration um, to like cheer on the cider, uh, cheer on the, the apple trees, a cheer on the orchard and bless them for a good harvest um, the next year. Um, have a big celebration to like really pump them up so they grow super strong and you get all the apples. Um, yeah, so tonight we're going to go through two different variations of wassail. One is make ahead and we'll go through the make ahead component. If you saw our recipe at uh, prettyprincessclub.substack.com, um, you might have already made this ahead. So just bear with us until we actually mix it. Um, but you can go to prettyprincessclub.substack.com for that recipe anytime um, if you want to refer to that or if you want to use that to follow along. Um, you can also reach that from prettyprincess.club. That's our website. Um, we have the make ahead version and then we have the instant party version um, in case, you know, maybe you're you're you can't leave work early on a Friday night and you really don't have the energy to make anything in advance um, and you just want to get the party started um, The make the the instant party time version is just about as good. Um, so yeah, let's go through our make ahead prep step by step. So you'll see, I've already kind of made this in advance. I don't know if I can tip this up too much without spilling because I'm super clumsy. Um, but I have my pot, my little saucepan full of cider um, and apple cider is our base. Um, and when you're picking an apple cider to use for this, 
Um, you'll just want to use like the kind in a jug, like not the carbonated kind and not the alcoholic kind, um, more like juicy kind, but like apple juice with dust in it, basically. <laughs> yeah, it's my husband laughing in the background because apple juice with dust isn't a totally gross way to describe it. It's definitely delicious. Um, but you want the kind in a plastic jug. Um, I always recommend you get one as close to you and local as possible for as much character. Like um, if you went to go pick out a pumpkin this year for Halloween, maybe that same place also sells apple cider. So you would want to get it from there if they have any. Um, but you can also get the kind from grocery store, an online retailer, a big box store, something like that. Um, and it'll be kind of bland. It's pretty uninteresting cider. It doesn't have local character necessarily. Um, but the cool thing about mulling it is it's going to be really interesting and way more tasty than just drinking it out of the jug. So what I did is I added about three cups of this to the saucepan. Um, three cups just seemed like kind of the right amount um, for you or maybe you and a partner or you and your roommate to have a few, a couple servings. Um, the recipe that I adapted this from assumed like a punch bowl or like a party setting. And that's not what we're doing right now. Um, so the minimum amount of cider you'd want to add um, to your drink if you want a, a really stiff drink is like six ounces. Um, so you'll probably want more than that, maybe like eight to 10 ounces. And you can also just drink the mulled cider by itself with no booze. It's really good that way. Um, so three cups is 24 ounces. So this will give you at minimum four servings um, if you want to have a real lit time or if you want to share with a partner, it's good for that. But three cups also seemed right because I didn't want it to scorch on a big saucepan or something like that. Um, it just kind of filled up the saucepan nicely. So you start with three cups of apple cider. Um, and like I said earlier, you can always adapt this uh, to what you have at home. Um, if you have apple juice, that'll work. Um, red wine would be great. Brown ale or dark ale would be good. If you try it with carbonated or alcoholic apple cider, let me know how it turns out. Um, it seems like it might be a little bit too dry for a really delicious spicy wassail, um, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. So just like, let me know how that goes. It might like boil over on the stove if you get it really hot, but I'm not saying it can't happen. So to that, you'll want to add some spices. Um, do, 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 just rattling around on my table here. And in our recipe, we use cinnamon sticks and fresh ginger. Um, so as far as cinnamon sticks go, I'm morally obligated to tell you that um, if you bought these cinnamon sticks last year or maybe the year before that, and um, you didn't really use them all, you're supposed to buy new cinnamon sticks because allegedly they get stale. Um, it's fine. It's okay. If you want to like punch it up with some ground cinnamon, I won't judge. Um, obviously it's something that you get from like a spice retailer um, will be better than something you get from your grocery store. Um, you know, if you can, if you can pull it from bulk bins, that's going to be better than the stuff that comes in a little jar, but this works just fine. Um, so you'll just want to take a couple of these sticks and just like drop them right in um, to your your cider that's in there. Um, and you'll want to save a couple to stir your drink with and use as a garnish. Um, it's fun. It's a really like easy garnish because you just flop it on or you just like lay it on top of your glass and feels fancy, but doesn't take a fancy amount of effort, which is what I'm about when it comes to cocktails. Um, and then the other thing we have is fresh ginger. Um, if you've never seen fresh ginger before, it's kind of like Ooh, and knobbly looking. Um, it's kind of charming though, and it's it's ugliness. And you'll just want about a tablespoon of that. So what I generally do is I take this knob and I like break off a piece. Um, you can see here, I've already started peeling it a little bit, but you can just take a vegetable peeler and am I holding this backwards? Probably. Uh, and just peel off the skin. Um, if you don't have a vegetable peeler, you could always use like a knife, a paring knife. If you're really skilled with a knife, you could use a chef's knife. Um, but you'll kind of, you're going to be, you're going to tend to lose a little bit more of the actual ginger that way. 
Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to make a big, big mess on my tablecloth here. You has got to wash it at some point. Um, but once it's peeled to your satisfaction, you can even break off a little bit more because you don't really need that much. If you want to add a little bit more, that's cool too. But I take my little, my little zester doodle. You could use any kind of like very fine grater that would work too. And I just, I eyeball about a tablespoon. Really exact measurements aren't that important here. And you can actually just grate that right over your pot if you're, if you've got it on the stove already. And you'll get these little fine shreds of ginger. Um, yeah. And you can just flop those into the pan. And the cool thing about grating it, and like you can mince it with a knife if you don't have a grater, that totally works fine. But grating it is going to expose a lot of surface area and you're gonna get a ton of delicious, zesty, fresh ginger flavor. Um, and of course, you could substitute for dried ginger. If you must, if you gotta, it's okay. It's 2020, we all gotta do a lot of things. So do what feels right. Um, once you have your spices in there, you'll want to add a little bit of citrus. Um, so I have lemons. I think oranges would also be great here. So if you have oranges sitting around, those would be fine too. Um, and I just cut them into rounds, thin rounds. My knife wasn't very sharp, so they ended up a little bit thick, but that's fine. Um, just like wheels basically. And you just plop half a lemon's worth of rounds into there. Um, and I saved a couple of wedges till the end um, for our high effort garnish. You'll see what that is in a second. We didn't put that in a recipe. It's a little surprise for anybody who's uh, watching the stream tonight. And then that's really, that's really all the prep you have to do before you put this on the stove. And you'll want to put it on the stove over super low heat um, for at least an hour. You want it to like steam, um, but you don't want it to be so hot that it's boiling or that you can't leave it completely alone. Just set a timer and forget about it for an hour. Um, and then once an hour passes, you'll want to come back and give it a taste and, you know, decide if you're happy with the flavor. Maybe you want to add more spices. Maybe you want to take the lemons out. Um, the first time I did it, uh, I found that it was really acidic after I left the lemons in after that first hour. So if you're satisfied with the acid level, I would like scoop the lemons out with a fork, um, put those aside, maybe save them for a garnish if you want to, um, and then just let it keep going. Um, you can also really play with the spices here. Um, honestly, I had some pumpkin pie spice that I was hoping to try this with. I thought that would be really fun and nice. Um, like whole cloves would be great. The thing with cloves is that they can be really numbing. Um, so you'll wanna just use those in moderation. Um, but like nutmeg, allspice, um, any like high quality spices or like even run of the mill spices that you have will probably be just fine. Um, and you can mix and match and try it out and adjust it according to what you love. Um, it's a super flexible recipe. So once it's done, what you'll wanna do is strain it out um, just to get all the big chunks out. If you ended up grating your ginger, like we showed here, um, rather than like mincing it or something, you really wanna strain it out. Um, Cause otherwise you'll get like a chunk of ginger while you're drinking and that's super gross. Like the big things like the lemon wheels and the cinnamon sticks, you can avoid by, by eyesight. You don't even have to scoop those out, but the ginger will find its way into your drink if you don't strain it. So you wanna use something coarse like a colander to strain it out or like just a regular mesh strainer. Um, a lot of times I strain infusions with um, a coffee filter with a pour over. I co-opt my pour over cup for this. Um, but you don't want that for this because the cool thing about apple cider is it has like natural sediment in it and you don't want to lose that sediment by using a really fine filter. So I would just recommend like whatever you use to strain your spaghetti or something like that, um, just to get the big chunks of ginger out. So I have my mug here and before we pour the drink in, and I'm so bad about this. If I weren't thinking about it, I know I would have just poured my stuff in. But here's that high effort garnish that we were referring to earlier. And that's why we have these lemon wedges. So I love a sugar rim because it feels hella fancy. Um, these are mugs from my local um, local game lounge, um, a little barcade and board game and tabletop RPG kind of place, Raygun Lounge, Capitol Hill, Seattle. Um, definitely pray for them to make it through the pandemic. Um, but what you'll want to do to do the sugar rim 
Um, there are like fancy little trays that you can use to like daub water. Oops, I definitely did not put a little bit of fireball in this in advance uh, before this panel. So that's why it's dripped on my dripped on my tablecloth here. You saw nothing. <laughs> so what you'll want to do in, in, in absence of a fancy like sugar rim, salt rim kind of setup, um, these little trays that kind of swing out that have like a sponge in them that you could like use to daub the top of your thing with water. Um, I'm just going to use a lemon wedge. So that works just as well. Um, I want to make sure it's nice and moist. I've had this sitting out for a while because TV magic, but hopefully it works pretty well. Um, and I had a little bit of trouble with this. Um, the way I usually do a sugar rim is usually I really try hard not to get it on the inside of the cup um, because that could, you know, ruin the integrity of your very fancy cocktail. But this feels, you know, just a little bit more fun and festive. Um, so rather than kind of trying to like roll it around on the angle, which just doesn't work that great with when you have your, your drinking vessel has the thickness of a mug. I just kind of stamped it on here. Nice crunchy sound. Mm -hmm. And then you get this like, yeah, oh, that's great. And then you get this nice sugar rim around it. You can even mix some cinnamon into your sugar. I used really chunky sugar. I used like the turbinado sugar, which I think is very nice here. Um, and that's all you got to do for that. All right. So now we are ready to start to pour our drink. I have me, this is roughly a six ounce ladle. I think I'm going to go for a slightly less strong drink tonight. I'm really careful here. I'm dripping down the side. Your mug will hold probably about 10 to 12 ounces. So if you want to go for a, a double scoop here, that's great. I'll do a little bit more. This mug's a little bit bigger, maybe 14 ounces. Okay. Just want to leave like a pinch of space for the amount of whiskey you want. Um, and now comes the exciting part. I'm actually going to put this aside for later. We're going to get out the good stuff for this. So regarding whiskey, this recipe uses bourbon um, and I chose bullet bourbon. Um, it is my favorite bourbon for this price point, which is sub $30. Um, there's not a lot that's like really comparable to the flavor of bullet. It's super smooth. It's sweet. It's nice. It's, you know, it's a little bit inoffensive, but like, cool. It's great. It's bourbon. Um, the other thing that you get at sub $30 is Maker's Mark. Um, and no offense to anybody who loves Maker's Mark, but I feel like with Maker's, you're paying for the bottle, right? You're paying for the wax on top. And just like when you could get Bullet, um, there's really no excuse for the, the sharpness and the harshness of Maker's. Um, so if you don't wanna spend a lot, a lot of money on your whiskey, I would go for Bullet. Um, it's a delicious bourbon. They also make a really good rye. Um, if you want to spend a little less money, Jim Beam will work just fine. <laughs> the good stuff. Yeah. But Jim Beam will work okay. Um, if you have Jack Daniels sitting around, that's fine too. Um, but just in case any whiskey snobs are watching, or if you have whiskey snobs in your friend circle, I'm morally obligated to tell you Jack Daniels is not bourbon. It's a Tennessee whiskey. It uses a different mash bill um, than a bourbon. And I'm not going to go into that. You can Google it yourself. Um, but if you if you talk to the wrong person about it, they'll be um, you know they'll they'll call you out on it. And what I say to them is, do not at me, please. I just want to get my drink on. So, if you'll remember last time, I believe I mentioned pour spouts and how much I like them. I'm using those this time around. Um, and these are great because they come with a little hat on them, a little lid. Um, if they don't come with a lid, you'll either just need to retain the original cap for the bottle so you can switch it out and put it back on. Um, otherwise you'll get fruit flies going in here. Um, however, in the summertime, if you have like just a, a tiny layer of booze left on the bottom of your bottle, um, that, uh, your pour spout with no cap on it makes a really great trap for fruit, fruit flies if you suffer from those. Um, yeah, and these are great if you're doing a lot of cocktail mixing, um, even if just for yourself, it kind of saves you some mess, a little bit less of like the splash factor. Um, I'm going to get, I forgot to bring my measuring cup. So I'm going to do the super, super cool thing. Oh, I think my lovely assistant is going to get it for me. Um, 
But yeah, what we're going to do is measure out two ounces of this. You can do less. And like I said, you don't have to add the bourbon at all if you don't want to. This is great with just a sugar rim. Thank you so much, my love. Mm -hmm. yeah. I tend to worry about what happens if this will fall off. I've never had a pore spout fall off catastrophically on me, but I will put my finger around this. I'm going to try not to block this little hole here because that'll make it come out weird. But... It's my two ounces. Pour it in. Now I'm going to grab one of those cinnamon sticks I had earlier just to give it a little stir. Um, the heat of your base should help it kind of mix together, kind of flow up while the alcohol flows down, which is a little bit lighter. But give it a little stir anyway. And drop that in there. If you have like a leftover lemon wheel, you could cut like some little leggies into it. I'm going to try and tear it with my fingers and set that on there like this. And voila, that's beautiful. There's your, um, there's your delicious wassail. Um, and I'm going to hand this over to my lovely assistant. He might want to, that's a lemon on the floor. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's our make ahead version. Um, and you can always uh, watch the VOD once it's posted um, if you want to follow that again. Um, but now we're going to do the instant party time version. This is you've been working all day. You're tired. You cannot deal with making anything ahead. You have zero spoons. You have no cans <laughs> to even. Um, all you got to do is take the cider and just pour it into your mug. Leave about, you know, a bit of space for another two ounces of liquor. I'm going to hand this one over to my lovely assistant again. And my lovely assistant or your partner um, is going to put it in the microwave for two minutes. Um, I think ours is a 1200 watt microwave. Um, and that's just just until it gets steamy. It shouldn't be like boiling. It shouldn't change in any meaningful way. And then we're going to add our secret ingredient, which is cinnamon whiskey. Um, I have Sinfire because it's cheaper than Fireball, um, but it's about the same. Um, Sinfire also is less sugary than Fireball, but it's it's basically the same thing. Um, and that's going to add all the zazz and party time you need if you can't bring it yourself. Um, so, yeah, it's really just some hot cider and Fireball. Um, and, of course, you can add garnishes because you'll have your cinnamon sticks perhaps laying around. You might have a lemon wedge if you thought you were going to make this, but then you were like, mm, no, that's not happening. You could always do a sugar rim. It's too late for me, unfortunately, because I've already poured my drink in there and put it in the microwave. Um, I think uh, I'm going to get this lemon off the floor before the ants come in. Thanks for, uh, thanks for bearing with me. <laughs> but yeah, um, this drink is super, super low effort. And even the make ahead version is, is um, like I said, a fancy amount of drink, a fancy feeling drink for a not fancy amount of effort. Um, I think we can probably take that out of the microwave now, sweetheart. Um, if we don't wanna wait the whole time. Thank one you. Left. Oh, one second left. No sense of time, apparently it's too late. Thank you, my love. Yeah. Oh, I can feel it. It's nice and warm. Um, and the cool thing about a pour spout is that you can use it to count pour. So you don't need a measuring cup if you know how to do this. Um, I'll show you all sometime. But my the bartending school my parents paid for when I got kicked out of real school is finally paying off. So just about two ounces right there. Might have been a little short because I usually come up short. Uh, and that's really all you got to do. I'm feeling very ambitious here. So I'm going to stir it with a cinnamon stick, pop it in, and that's it. That's all you got to do. Um, and that's Wassel, baby. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull up the chat here. Does anybody have any questions? Anybody want to? <laughs> hey, it's the DJ. DJ Jimmy Cricket. I love you. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you all enjoy. Um, and this is going to come in really handy um, 
for the uh, crafting time that's coming up real, real soon. Um, I believe Ray is going to be leading that. We're going to be decorating some some uh, holiday sweaters. And um, uh, I, I did not, um, I put all my preparation energy into this. Um, and uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I didn't do anything else. So I am not prepared to craft, but uh, if, I'm, if I'm feeling it, if I drink enough of this, I might see where my glue gun is. We'll, we'll, we'll see about that. Actually, <laughs> it's really, oh my gosh. Hello, Hello, my friendsicles. Um, my friendsicles. <laughs> wassail, gamer. Wassail. I'm not drinking wassail, but you know. Um, actually, if you guys did not prepare ahead of time, I have this fun little link. I'm just going to maybe if it lets me post it. Um. So if you click on that, you can print off your own sweater and you can color it, you can glue shit to it, um, whatever you want to do. So that is that is a that is a thing. I did do that, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. You did. <laughs> I um, so, you know. If you wanna, if you wanna join in and did not prepare ahead of time, um, I, on the other hand, oh, that's gorgeous. Preps. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna craft things because I have a cat and I don't Arts know if you can this, but oh. <laughs> hello, Presh. I'm gonna have to get the markers out so I can color <laughs> along with you. Apparently. So uh, we'll see how this goes. But um, we we have a few a few friends joining us from our from our event groups, Pretty Princess Club, Bay Area K. <laughs> I don't know if they just want to just hop in here. We're gonna yeah, add, add yourselves. Here. Add thyself when you're ready, when yeah. you feel like it. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll just look at cat butt, which I'm totally down with. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> awesome blue. It's kombucha. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Hello. Nicole. Hi. Oh hi, Mish. He even has his own ugly sweater. Just just oh. saying. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> oh. You good? That's you good, awesome. bud? Wow, I can plug in my hot glue gun now. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time i've seen him move he's like uh, yeah he's it's been there for a, a minute Christmas miracle <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't Just sure if time. i was going to be able to carry on with the panel so we're here now um we've we have alcohol in our systems i assume um you can see what i'm doing hello quinn welcome welcome Yay. Hello, I'm, to our friends. Nari, I am not. Nari, howdy, howdy, as we say in Colorado. Ye howdy. You all I, say howdy because I like to say howdy. I'm, we, a, I'm a howdy we, appropriator. We don't, but we do say y'all. Say we're that, that, like, no one in Colorado says howdy. <laughs> we're that fine line between like Midwestern and not Midwestern. Um, so it kind of, it kind of. Yeah. yeah. So that means you get to say "ope," which is the best. It's true. As it's as an true. actual Ohioan living in Seattle, I gotta say I um I had to reintroduce "ope" into my vocabulary after I like <laughs> thought about it too much, and I was like, "What does "ope" mean? Oh my god! Like I, I have to stop saying this because this means nothing. And then now it's trendy. Past you there. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh! All right. Oh, this is the best statement ever. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right, right. friends, I yeah. think we should take me off the stream. But if you want to follow Pretty Princess Club's adventures, yeah. uh, hopefully to Vegas next year, but we'll see what happens. Um, well, you can follow us at prettyprincess.club, <laughs> um, prettyprincess.club on Instagram, PPC LLC RVR on Facebook and Twitter. Um, yeah, and enjoy your arts and crafts. We'll see you around. We will. Thanks, Thank you. Hey. You All right. Stream to take me off. Are are y'all are y'all ready? 
I wasn't get, planning on join, joining <laughs> in, but I'm here. I was supposed to just check, but you know. That's, that's why I added the, the PDF of the sweater so you can yeah. like color or something. But we got we got a craft box. Um, I obviously did not prepare for this ahead of time. I don't know if that's a sarcastic comment or not. <laughs> but um, we're gonna we're gonna glue some shit to a sweater. Nice. Normally I would sew things on, but considering that's, that's that, vibe. yeah, who sews stuff when they're drinking? Not I'm me. sure that's half. <laughs> like, yeah. I can imagine like lots of bad experiences, but um <laughs> like stab myself a few times, yeah. you know. Exactly, exactly. This this is an accurate statement. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jamie. Really shut the sweater up. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. You have the, the Diet Coke in distress. I am Wait. distressed. <laughs> We're all in a state of distress, let's be real. <laughs> it's a it's a permanent state at this point. My cat is also in my lap and she's like this <laughs> And so I'm trying to avoid like my sweater getting on her so that I don't get all the hair on her on it. That's what you get for having a white cat and being a goth. I know, right? So I am adding this yeah. nice little pom pom yeah. trim yeah. on onto my sweater. Maybe I'll just MS paint this. Whatever. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I of course had to go the extra mile and include a second camera so you could see what I'm doing. Cat cam. Um, yeah, it was cat cam, and then I guess he's camera shy. As soon as we went live, he's like, no. he's like "Oh, there's an audience." <laughs> Ray's cat never does what she wants it to do. She, wants, she brought it over one time to play with my cat. And he just wanted to kill him. Okay. Oh. It's because Daisy bullied him first. He no. didn't know what it was he like was, to he, be he around other cats. Stressed. And the first thing that happened, Daisy hissed at him. <laughs> and he was like, oh, he fuck this. Crazy. Fuck other cats. And... He was terrified ever since then. One of these days. One of these days. Crash has um, cat dementia. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't know what he's doing, like, at all. Oh. And it's kind of sad. He doesn't even use the litter box anymore. He's just, he's he's just, just existing. He just does whatever he, how old is he? I don't know, like. I don't know, like 14, maybe 13. I don't know. I, I got him and they told me he might have been six. So I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. Kim, did you actually have a sweater planned or are you going the PDF route? I saw this sweater that like the the arm was kind of like more distressed right here on the shoulder and I thought that was kind of cool so that's just mostly I'm just tearing up the arms and also it's got this collar so I wanted this to be more like hanging like just like really shredded up right here on the collar goth life yeah <laughs> Can we, can we hear you now? Yes, I I, I'm the story of my life. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to fuck up a sweater. And then I was like, can I hot glue some stuff to a tie-dye shirt? And then hey, I couldn't yeah. find it. So oh. I'm, I'm yeah, that's hard. <laughs> at least, at least oh. you have your paper sweater. <laughs> so I'm making a very tacky Christmas sweater. That yeah. That's the whole point, though. This is ugly sweaters. Um, it's supposed to be as ugly as possible or, you know, pretty, but like also ugly at the same time. Oh no, my pom-pom got stuck in the hot glue. And what are you planning on doing? Yeah, I was going to say, what's Ray's design going to be like? 
you think I have a design planned ahead of time? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm going to be drinking. Um, there is literally no point in me figuring out what I'm doing because <sighs> it's not going to happen. I will, I will tell you, though, that there is a tiny sweater involved. I, this is literally my favorite part. Like, I am so excited about this <laughs> ass sweater. It's like Inception. Mm -hmm. I also have a bird in a sweater. My little, my little target bird with his fancy sweater. Multiple sweaters. Because this is all about the sweaters. So, you know. And then I'm going to have to come up with a coordinate to go with this later. So. <laughs> We'll, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. And you know the best part? I'm drinking, so if I burn myself on the hot glue gun, I don't feel anything. I feel I like <laughs> that's not the answer, but um, go off. It, it happens. You know. What about chat? What is chat doing for their sweaters? Yeah, Did uh, anyone actually bring like sweater item accessories? crafting stuff <laughs> everybody came here just to watch this tear mess. everyone came to watch ray Probably. get drunk <laughs> yeah i mean i would come to watch ray get drunk so you know i actually have a stream where i drink things and do stupid shit i don't do crafting but maybe i should <laughs> I watch she just sings. yeah yeah. Wait a second. Is that why your name is why is that what the whale shark thing is? Because whale sharks make noises? Like they what? sing? No. Don't whale sharks sing? I don't know. No, they're sharks. They're not whales. I have the whale shark because my name is Jin Bees. <laughs> right. Because it sharks. Jinbei Jinbeizawa is whale shark in Japanese. Oh, okay. I did not know that. And also, I love whale sharks. So, learning was, so much today. <laughs> oh, you know what? I never made my fuzzy headband. I forgot to make oh, it. No. <laughs> Maybe I should craft that. <laughs> there you go. You can you can craft something. Oh, God, we'll make this a uh, we'll make this a stitch and bitch at this uh, point. Oh, stitch and bitch! I like yeah. that. Should that be a regular thing? Yes. <gasps> tiny whale shark. Tiny whale shark. Tiny whale shark. Tiny whale shark. Oh, you can't see him because my lights are too bright. Tiny. Oh, cute. Mm -hmm. Tiny whale shark. <laughs> I have multiple cameras now. Double the excitement. Maybe I should just. Thanks, uh, Jamie. Where the hell? What a mess. I actually do know a lot of biology fish tanks. That's true. Your little, your little axolotls and stuff was so cute. <laughs> okay. You know, Cello, you know why nobody in Colorado knows marine biology? Because we live in Colorado. Yeah, where's the ocean? The ocean is like 2,000 miles away. Okay, There's literally. Our, no aquarium, our aquarium is literally all like that and sprout. <laughs> we have tigers at our is. aquarium. And a sloth. <laughs> we have um, marine biology here in like North North California. That is where SpongeBob is from. <laughs> oh, ah, that's cool. Yeah, the the oh, it's yeah, yeah. from Humble, which is SpongeBob is what you get when you get a guy who studied marine biology and also <laughs> smokes a lot. A four twenty blaze it. Blaze it. <laughs> We're in Colorado. It's legal to say that. Check out this Isn't is the package that um, the the fuzzy headband stuff came in. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah, she's really thoughtful with the packaging. Let's see if I can achieve this without like following any directions. 
do it. it Probably not. I mean, how much alcohol have you had at this point? It's always been like, you know, the little cider guys, the cold busy boys. Yeah, but how many cider guys? I'm only on my second one. Oh, okay. So you, you might very... be able to pull it off. Yeah, they're not very alcoholic. Fair enough. I think mine's at like 12%. <laughs> Yeah, this is not, this is one of them, I just got it just at the, you know, corner store on the, down the street, so it's whatever they had. Quantum mechanics? Yes, um, in Golden, we have mines, but... Wait, hold on, that's not what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Full of mines, smart, smart people. I'm not one of them, I didn't go there. Sweater is ugly as hell. <laughs> mimes or mimes? Honestly, I'm mimes. Mimes? Not mimes. <laughs> not like not not mimes. No a mime. Coal mine or yeah, like a coal mine, except it's an engineering school. <laughs> All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This is actually very therapeutic. Good. Good. We all we all need a little little stress Isis. relief. Bees. 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 What yeah. about bees? bees. 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 Okay, so we've got two different kinds of needles here and a needle center. Why is your name bees? <sighs> Okay, Jin Bay <laughs> was already taken. <laughs> I even tried Jin Bay like Bay. Oh, that's cute. And it was taken. Someone already had it. So wow, I was like, Jin Bees, it is. Because bees are great. Support bees. I'm drinking mead that's made of honey. <laughs> look at look at my look at my pom poms. That's actually kind of cute. <laughs> Oh, one of them's a little derpy. It's fine. It's fine. We're hot gluing it on. I don't expect much out of it. I expect you to have a full cord and wear it tomorrow with that. No, I have to wear it on Sunday for the tea party, obviously. Okay. <laughs> Finest Lolita attire. I'm like, do I want to add palms to the sleeves? The best brand money you can buy. <laughs> okay. I also decided I'm gonna I'm gonna shill some sh shameless shameless promotion. Look at figure this out. That's us. That's our that's our pin. Pins. Yeah. What the heck? Where did you get that from? I made. Wait, well, did you not see the post? <laughs> yeah, I made a whole no. post. Look at this. I have so many pins. I don't know what I'm doing with them, but I made pins. They were on sale. I got them from Sticker Mule. They were having. I want, I want one. I'll bring you one. Okay. They were having. They were having a deal, and it was like, you could get. 30 50 pins something i don't know they were like 20 bucks so i was like yeah i want pins <laughs> i also got tiny wreaths they're so small oh, they're so cute. small you should, Wait, are you gonna put the wreaths on your shirt? Make, like, yeah Ida. you should make an eda ugly sweater <laughs> just like this entire <laughs> bag i'm gonna do that this entire bag of pins is just going on this. <laughs> yes, you can go get some like um like a Ziploc bag and cut out like a plastic bit and then like hot glue around the edges oh. and like a heart shape. I mean, they're not gonna fall off, so I could just pin them on there. You know, oh, you need the look. I also, I also got my 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 P window PPC PPC swag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not that I have time for actually sewing anything, but you know. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Yeah, when are you guys they're talking about cords for Sunday? Besides uh oh. Ray who's gonna be wearing her beautiful sweater, aren't you guys have anything planned? <laughs> <laughs> Who makes plans? Yeah, that's <laughs> 
That is a great question, actually. Yeah, who plans a cord ever? <laughs> Literally, like 90% of my cords I put together at the last second. What is your dream sweater? One that doesn't get um, fucked up in the wash. <laughs> Literally! Ugh. Like, I want it to stay fleecy, thanks. Story of my life. My dream sweater is gonna be this one that's all torn up. <laughs> It's not the Krampus one. <laughs> uh, I like that one. It's just really hot, though, so I can't wear it. Um, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. I like this one, too, that has the dead Mickey on it. <laughs> it's a good oh, one. Should I take a second to shill um, Lomo loungewear? Let me bring you my Lomo's oh, loungewear sweater. Oh, yeah. There you go. Support our brands. <laughs> so this sweater is one that I've been living in. And Lomo is one of our vendors for th this event. And it's so comfy y'all. I've been just like sleeping in it. <laughs> it's got this cute little moth. Oh, there we go. Oh, good. I'm gonna have to look them up. Yeah, they, um, they're they like, they do goth vendors. <laughs> I also got this bat robe from them. It's got okay. um, like a bat hem. One. Good. Showing everything. All of my pajamas are like leopard Bats. print. Bats. So, yeah, I <laughs> yeah on that one. <laughs> I feel like I cannot relate to this. <laughs> I don't wear black. Who does that? But, um, yeah. for this event, they put out um a holiday. That's true. Of there was the, the candy cane, the so candy cute. cane colors. Yeah. Yo, that bat bathrobe looks sick. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, he specializes in loungewear at his, uh, his day job, like PJs. So he was like, you know what? I'm going to just start my own company. Might as well. Loungewear. So that's the sweater I've been wearing. Also got one recently from another one of our vendors. Um, Te is it Teha Hamila? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that is that how you pronounce it? I think so. With the screen print on the sides, it's probably. I know who you're talking about. I just <laughs> pronounce like um, the Ashrail Teha Hamila or something. I don't know how to pronounce things, but I've been liking that one too. <laughs> See, Tija, I don't know. Tija. Maybe. maybe. In the ad reel, it's pronounced Tia, I think. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's I, probably, I don't know, though. I don't know anything. the correct way. I think I, Haley, like, asked people what things were pronounced as, so she probably knows, but. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't tell you guys about the best part of my sweater. It's not the tiny sweater. <laughs> I mean, that is the best part, but look at this. Look at look at this. No. Oh, like tiny good. lights. <sighs> oh, you know, someone else who's doing sweaters also for this event now. I think I do all for <laughs> reference. I do all the um, all the like a lot of the vendor stuff because uh, Bay Area K is handling the vendor stuff while Rose Ferrey handles like the event stuff so i've been like very every single day looking at what all the vendors are putting out so um another person to take a look at who's putting out sweaters is sweet bits who's doing like a pastel oh, yeah, kawaii, that looks so cute. like purple yeah. and pink like holiday Ten sweater and would wear that one that one's one really? for all y'all sweet Hell yeah. <laughs> sweet we, we, we really like uh pop princess those little like Necklaces with the animals inside. <gasps> oh yeah, the oh, little terrariums, cute. really cute. The walnuts. Yeah. The walnuts. <laughs> I was like, I want to be a little animal that lives in a walnut. <laughs> yeah, that's goals. Okay, they used to have, they used to make tiny sewing kits inside walnut shells. Wait, what? Who's they? Like <laughs> back back in the day. I don't know what day exactly, but one of one of the days, 
Um, <laughs> My my mom is like obsessed with like antiques and stuff, and she found a tiny sewing kit at an antique store, and it was contained within a walnut shell, and it even what? had like the little thimble and stuff. It was so cute. It was a it was a good sewing kit. I lost it. I love that. Yeah, he was so cute. And I feel like I've seen other ones before, but I don't know. Maybe it was just like a handmade one. No, it, I think that actually was a thing in like Victorian times. Yeah, I was like, I, I feel like I've seen more, but. Yeah. My palms. <laughs> <laughs> so. Someone in the chat who's done these fuzzy things before, can you answer me? Am I supposed to go around the outside? Yeah, you're supposed to go around the outside. Around the outside? Otherwise, okay. you have, like, a sharp plastic <laughs> edge. <laughs> no, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to, like, do, like, a this. Luna's probably awake and, like, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, Lily's probably awake and can <laughs> She's probably like, answer my question. <laughs> right now. She's watching. I know. Secretly. I'm sorry, Lily. <laughs> like, what the hell are you doing? Why didn't you follow my? <laughs> Did it come with instructions? Because yeah, <laughs> uh. <laughs> there's instructions right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. You're like my husband. <laughs> like, why is this phone case? wireless charger not working and i'm like because you didn't read the instructions oh That's these why. some of the attaches to the headband blank well those are already sewn so you know what we're just gonna glue it it's fine <laughs> hot glue hot hot glue <laughs> <That's what it laughs> yeah, just winging it it's fine yeah <laughs> We we need more we need more sweater puns. What's something tacky you put on a sweater? Glue. Glue? <laughs> like a design. <laughs> oh <laughs> more sweaters. <laughs> My life. <laughs> Chevron. Cats. Chevron. No, Chevron's like cool though. It's a cool print. It's not tacky. I don't know if I would count Chevron as cool. I've always thought that sequin was pretty tacky. Oh, sequins sequin. are pretty tacky. Yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Liv, hold on. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw that up there for you. Live, yeah. laugh, love. Live, laugh, Lolita. <gasps> Eat, sleep, repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you had a, you had a, you had a live, laugh, love sweater. Is that is that what you actually? <laughs> okay, what what did one sweater say to another nervous sweater? I don't you know. Be I sweaty. Sweaty. I'm sweaty. Sweaty. <laughs> sweaty. So something about sweaty. I don't know. Yeah, you're sweaty. Oh, oh, don't sweat it. Oh, thanks, Pi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, we got we got some more jokes. More jokes. What does the gingerbread man put on his bed before bed? Probably his body. <laughs> that's what I that's what I put on my bed. <laughs> before bed though. Oh, 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 yeah, oh here, here, it. Here's, here's the punchline. There you go. <laughs> Cookie. I know. I was trying to think like uh baking sheet. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking, but I couldn't, I couldn't think of the right word for it. I almost, I almost have pom poms on my sleeves. 
I'll get there eventually. This is why I'm not hand sewing because it would literally take me forever because, you know, ADD or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I supposed to go like in and out of these holes? I'm not sure. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> no, you wrap. Well, are you on the edge? You no, I'm done with the edge. Oh, then. I don't remember. I'm not sure. I'm just going in and out because that's yes. logical to me. That, that seems that knock seems knock. Like, that's what she said. <laughs> scold, scold, scold. Who? <laughs> I like how so, several people. Oh my gosh! Radio <laughs> silence. <laughs> <laughs> damn <laughs> damn it is i don't know i don't know about y'all but it's snowing in colorado like it's just today snowing. it was like oh you guys have an event it. okay we're gonna know. <laughs> well we're not going anywhere that's My true literally has never gotten snow in their entire <laughs> lives like we don't know about y'all i it rained today and i was like oh i'm cold Ooh, i'm so <laughs> cold <laughs> i think Ooh, in the middle of the day it was 30 it degrees it's cold in the bay area though it really does it does i mean y'all have wind chill and stuff i i've been there before and i actually went in december and i had to take a coat mm-hmm I was, I was like, oh, dang, you need coats out here? Yeah, for real. I went in the summer and I had to go buy a cardigan because I got chilly. <laughs> it's not like Colorado, though. Sometimes you go outside and it's like you can't breathe because it hurts your lungs. <sighs> Yes. Like for real, you know what I'm talking about, though, right? That's why I can't move there. <laughs> I don't do it. Mm -hmm. You start talking about single digits? Nah. <laughs> how? How do you survive? Yeah, I'm not a fan either. I <laughs> don't go outside. That's how I survive. I have okay. like one last little bit of coat, which I bought in like 2012 when I started the fashion, and I barely use it. I'm so sad about not having cute winter cords. I'm, I'm sorry. Hmm? Oh, I, I'm, I'm sad about not I have to wear like two words. pairs of fleece line tights just to not freak <laughs> my ass off. <sighs> I hate Colorado. <laughs> like, I don't, but I do. Like, I just don't like being cold because when I'm cold, then I stay cold. And I don't, I don't heat up because that life. What do you mean he, the yeah. humidity, Nari? There's no humidity here. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you mean in like San Francisco, then fair. She's not, yes, she not talking about Colorado, maybe. We don't have humidity here. Um, like, have you been to Colorado? We have less humidity here. Like none. I think like the highest it gets is like 20 percent <laughs> and that's when it's raining <laughs> <laughs> we have less every time i go to san francisco like i just my face breaks out because of the humidity <laughs> i don't is it really, i don't find it humid Com compared to Colorado, it's humid. Yeah, I mean, compared to other places, it's not. But yeah, like I go to like Taiwan on a pretty regular basis. <laughs> That's humid. I went to New York in the summer and I was dying. Or not even the summer. No, it was October. It was October and I was dying. Get the hell out of here! Call Jamie. her out. Call. I feel like it's too. I, like if it's too high, then yeah, that's a problem. But I also don't like when it's too dry. High and dry. Um, and fish tanks. I mean, fair. I went to New York in. Okay, this one actually was the summer. Um, I went to New York during the summer once, and I got heat rash because of the humidity. <laughs> I can see that. 
Yeah, I was also Ugh. like born and raised in Colorado, so I'm just used to having no humidity whatsoever. So, you know, yeah, the roaches, man. I lived in Louisiana for like eight years. Let's not talk about the <laughs> state mascot, which is a cockroach. Oh no! Yeah, I know. I, I know. In Oregon, they get like more moths and stuff than we do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we do yeah. get those. But we like the Miller moths? Just moths in general. They're like big. They're just like fuck you come so from. They're they're not like, the <laughs> moths. We have like the, like, like the forms of moths that we, we get, get the like, itty bitty ones. <laughs> yeah, like a, the ones that like live in your closet or whatever. But they we don't even do that. It's like never had in those. Colorado we get like swarms of them in the spring. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? No. They get like the the big clothes eating moths. Like the ones that like love lamb. Use, yes. Like you have to use mothballs. In Colorado, we don't need mothballs. Yeah, we don't need them. They, yeah, summer is the worst time yeah, for moths. Yeah, I, do. I, live here. I used to work in a vintage oh, store. Here. Ooh. It was like an ever, it was like a battle against moths every summer. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have that. So we, we don't have to deal with that, at least. But our apartment keeps getting centipedes. Nope, we're changing this conversation. Mm -hmm. That is the one bug I cannot stand is centipedes. They have too many legs. <laughs> <laughs> too many legs. Never seen one in my life. I hope I die <laughs> never having to see one. <laughs> I hope you do too because they're awful and they're terrifying. And you know what's worse than centipedes? Millipedes. No, no. <laughs> I am leaving the chat. Funny, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just eating on out of here. For some reason, because we live like, it's not like a basement apartment, but we live on like the bottom floor. And for some reason... We always get a shit ton of centipedes. <laughs> and like, thankfully, Mishka like kills them when they come in. Oh, so we always have a shit ton of dead centipedes. Um <laughs> oh shit. This has pockets. <gasps> yeah, it's like AP all up in here. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's cool. Okay, Meredith, you don't have to deal with picking them up all the time. <sighs> I actually, <laughs> story time. Um, story time. When I was younger, I my, my parents live in a house that's over 100 years old. Um, definitely haunted. Yeah, there's a whole there's a whole thing about that. I was taking a shower once and a centipede crawled out from under the shower mat as I was in the shower and it was like a horror story. Like you know the horror movies when they like slither out from under the bath mat? Yeah. That was exactly the situation and I've never recovered from that. <laughs> Okay, but so can speaking of horror stories, can you tell us about this haunted house? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, what are you even talking about? I mean, about? okay, the house is over a hundred years old, and I like it's the only house I've ever. Well, not like I've ever lived in. Obviously, I've lived in other places, but like that's where I grew up. And they still live there. And every time I go there, it's like terrifying because the upstairs is like a completely different section of the house. And like. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, it's like a, it can be like an apartment. No, it was like the house was built over a hundred years ago. And then the upstairs was built as an addition later on. So it's, it's like you go upstairs and there's like completely different vibes and it's really creepy. <laughs> um, I don't know how to explain it. Like you don't come across stuff when you're there, but you, you just, it's like the chills down your spine. What the fuck is happening sort of Bad thing. Bad vibes. Exactly. 
Exactly. Um, Pretty sure my childhood home was also haunted. Yeah. And so, like, every time we go back there, I don't, like, we have to stay upstairs because that's where the guest rooms are. And I hate, I hate staying up there. (laughs) It's so creepy. (laughs) It's, It's definitely... My my mom has actually told me stories about like occurrences that have happened at the house. Mm-hmm. I haven't experienced any, well, other than the general creepiness of the whole thing and the bad bad vibes all around. But um, she was telling me about this like she went upstairs once and there was like a giant top, like a like a dreidel type top <laughs> oh i thought you meant like a, like a person no no like a <laughs> i was confused <laughs> oh, I I it. no it's like a like a top like spinning and it was just spinning and spinning oh. and i think that's just the thingy from um inception <laughs> She <laughs> this was in the 70s i've actually <laughs> never seen inception i don't know but this is in the 70s so That's definitely really before that happened a sweater, sweater thing <laughs> this is uh sweaters and ghost stories now where's Haley when you need her <laughs> oh yeah to talk to us about yokai yeah okay. when i was a kid apparently my mom told me that i had like i would talk to ghosts I never, I don't remember this, but she was yeah. so like, he was like, the cold ghost. I was like, so. the ghost, and like, I would get up in the middle of the night and play with them. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, first of all, Cello, um, this is three and a half hours away. You're not, you're not gonna want to travel there. Don't worry. <laughs> also, um, Right after I graduated high school, the entire property flooded and they had to get it like fleshed out and they still live there. I don't maybe that took out the ghosts. Ghosts. What about the ghosts? Maybe like the it flushed out the ghosts? No, it, no, it didn't. Okay. No. Have you tried putting a giant wall just in front of the door? Have you ever gone to um a Chinese restaurant and you walk in and at the very, it, it, you have to like walk around a wall in order to get into the restaurant. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. like, yeah. Chinese ghosts only walk straight. So that's to keep out ghosts. Well, these aren't Chinese ghosts. They're Okay, Colorado but I mean, you could try. <laughs> Another thing is um, pagodas. You know how there's like the curved uh, roofs? Those are shaped that way, so ghosts slide off. Yeah, but that's <laughs> not how ghosts work here. <laughs> just make slithy roofs. They're just, they're just spinning your giant spinning tops. So you know how in, in China, like, they don't like the number four? Like, it's yes. like, yeah, like, it's like bad luck to them. Is There's a restaurant like, here um, called Four. There's a <laughs> what? Who knows about this, but I, I always am like, I wonder if I should tell him because he's my client. He he's actually like a pretty famous like chef, but oh. he I groom his dogs, and I've always wondered if I should tell him that. Like, did you know that your restaurant is a bad luck number? Yeah, yeah. it's um the the word for death sounds like four. Yeah, oh, and yeah. Like a lot of different, like a lot of Asian countries, the number four is bad luck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh, uh, in Japanese it's she, in Chinese it's. Si. Got a got a tiny tiny mushroom. Look mushroom, at mushroom. It's very very on theme. I have a whole bag of tiny mushrooms. So I saw a ghost one time in broad daylight. It was in Mexico. Huh. Um, uh, it, uh, because in Mexico, like the highways are very old. Like they you know, have the like Mexican Revolution and stuff on yeah. it. Yeah. And so yeah. we were driving. We were in the desert. And there's a man standing on the side of the road. And I was in a, we were in a van and I was in the middle seat. So I was looking at the front. And when we passed him, I like, 
I just looked to the side because that's just what you do when you pass something. And mm -hmm. uh, when I, we passed him, he was gone. And so I turned mm -hmm. around really quick to like see like what the heck happened. And he was standing there again. And my mom saw the same exact thing because she was like immediately like that was a ghost. Yeah. My mom has like a bunch of ghost stories, like uh, from the house that you lived in that was haunted. No, no. Well, besides, <laughs> there, there's a few from that, but she used to live in. She's from North Dakota, and she was like telling me ghost stories about. Um, she, she doesn't live like super far from one of the reservations. Like she went to college, like right next to one. Um, but I guess one of the, she lived in like a trailer park type thing and, um, there was like a little Native American boy that would like haunt the trailer that she lived in. And so she saw him a couple times. Um, <laughs> why is this all like in questions? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the exact details. Like it's, it's been a while, but I don't know. Is it is it is it ugly, Meredith? What does your sweater look like? Tag Rose for a winter event, and we'll find out. Yeah. I'm posting on the Discord. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh yeah. For some reason, they're talking about In and Out in the chat. I don't know how it came to this. Because Colorado just opened In and Out. We how got our first. Line? Um, the one in Aurora was twelve hours. We have one in Colorado Springs. Not I didn't it, know. No, I don't. Like, I don't I eat raw meat. I, I live right next to the one that they opened right here in Colorado Springs. Yeah. And everyone's told me that it, the wait is still like two hours. It but they have told me long. that. Two hours wait, dine in that it's only like a 20 minute wait sometimes. Oh, yeah, I drove but then by you have to stand in line next to a bunch of randos. In yeah, pandemic, so yeah. I you, know, know, you guys want to know my hot and spicy take on In and Out as someone who lives near many In and Outs? Yeah, it's not that great. <laughs> okay, I, I might get banned from <laughs> California. So like also another thing to keep in mind is I'm vegetarian, so I can't even have any of the burgers, whatever. The grilled cheeses are fine. I have to order two of them. The animal style fries I am mad about because the fries themselves I think are just okay. But if you order them animal style, then you just get like a huge chunk of cheese on the top of it and it immediately hardens and you just have like this chunk of cheese that <laughs> you can't really eat with like a bunch of your fries. You can only eat it with like one fry and that's it. Oh, I mean, that makes sense. I don't eat, like, red meat, so I never bothered to go to In-N-Out when I was in, like, the Bay Area. You can get, like, a grilled but, like, cheese, and it's not, like, grilled cheese. It's just it's a just burger. It's a hamburger so bun with cheese in the middle. Okay. I never saw the point of we, that. We have a restaurant called Drifters, which is basically just In-N-Out. So I don't see what the big deal. Like you're just going for the name brand is what you're doing. Yeah. No, yeah, it's like Lolita's with Brando or something. Hmm. We did in um uh Bay Area just get Shake Shack. Ooh. Oh, which okay. I'm very excited about because they have a mushroom burger. Ooh. And it's sweet cheese. The wire just came off of something, and I'm not. <laughs> is it? Oh. <laughs> so my when mushroom you fell off. You're saying that the patty is made out of mushrooms? Yeah, it's oh, just yeah. a giant. It's just a giant it's mushroom. Just it's not. It's not a giant. Mu I think it's no. Like it's not. It's like minced up mushrooms. I just made a mushroom burger. Yeah, there's I a think, difference between like um because some people take just like a one like one whole portobello and they use yeah. that as a patty, but in this case it's like minced oh. up mushrooms and then they stuff they like inject it with cheese and then you bite into it and it, like spurts hot cheese into your mouth. <laughs> that sounds terrifying. I was like, I know. <laughs> I was I, I've had like the full vegetarian burgers. I've had the full like where it's just a giant portobello and it's on a bun with like cheese. They're not bad, but like, huh? 
Well, I w- I made low carb veggie burgers and it was yeah. like mushrooms. And then they put like, if you put like a little bit of flax meal in it, it's really good. Cause once it cooks with the flax meal in it, it tastes like kind of like meaty. It's weird. Ah. Hmm. It, I don't know. It's it's not like it doesn't taste like meat. It just tastes like kind of umami. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I I would I would go to a Cane's meetup. I'll eat chicken. I just don't eat red meat. So I I've been to Cane's once and I ordered the kids menu and they just give it to you. They don't like <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> I feel like, bad. I, I <laughs> they don't ask you what you want with it. They're just like, here's your chicken, here's your cane sauce. You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. <laughs> That's how their entire menu is, though. It's literally just like okay. I didn't know that when I went there, though. How many chickens do you want? That's that's the only choice. How many chickens? I ordered the kids the kids menu and they gave me the little cup with the dog and they gave me a toy and it was a skateboard. I was gonna ask you what it was. <laughs> How so was it one of those like little finger skateboards? Yeah. Like, oh shit, yeah. those were good. It was stickers. You put like the little Kane's dog on it, and there was a couple other ones. I don't know. I gave it to Norm. He wanted it, so he got he got the little the little Kane's skateboard. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was my only experience at Kane's. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to that skateboard so. I don't. I don't. Norm had it. The bird. No, he didn't give it to the birds, though. <gasps> I don't know. Oh I don't know what gosh, he did birds with, with it. skateboards. Oh, birds with skateboards. Except guava. Guava's a butthead. <laughs> guava will scream at it. <laughs> I put a wreath on my sweater. On my sweater, sweater. <laughs> Are you almost done with it? Oh I don't God. even know. I don't, I don't know. know I'm like, I've been ripping this forever. <laughs> the when panel, like, honestly, I was like, there is no panel after this. So, like, I don't even care at this point. But um, I don't know. I don't know when the quitting time is. I think um, technically it's in like 15 minutes. I can put this uwu patch on my sweater. Uwu. Uwu. Oh my gosh. I, oh, I, was, um, match, no. I saw some graffiti one time on like a billboard and it said like a cab uwu. <laughs> Would you love that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> I was I was telling Norm that I I want to be a SoundCloud rapper, <laughs> and I'm gonna make a song called Uwu, and that's my life now. Ooh. You know, that's what happens when you're in court. <laughs> you gotta get face tattoos first, though. No, I don't want face tattoos. Get like, have, a heart. No, I have thigh <laughs> tattoos. That's and close enough. Curtain. I have my I have my kawaii thigh. That's kawaii thigh. Y'all think I'm kidding? What's kawaii thigh? I have no, scary thigh. You haven't you haven't seen my kawaii thigh? Hold on. Scary thigh. Hold on. I'll show you my scary thigh after. <laughs> Is an SFW. Oh. oh. That is kawaii, kawaii thigh. Yeah, that's that's my my teacup alpaca, and I got like a. I need more on there. I haven't I haven't gone to that part yet, but I have a kawaii thigh. I've got scary thigh. <laughs> I have I have oh an angelic my. pretty okay. tattoo. So I have to get <laughs> in my chair. So here is one thigh. <laughs> oh my That's- gosh, that detail. <laughs> it's a catacomb thing. Y'all's is um, fancy. And man. I have this other thigh, which is a, a death of rats. Ooh. Um, so it's like a little 
rat skeleton with a little scythe and oh he's got his God. little raven and his little eyeball scary thigh. <laughs> I have I, love I have Cobra Lakuma on my on my <laughs> and I have a holy lantern on my ankle and Pujin on my back. <laughs> You're quite all over. Yeah. Yeah, Alive. it's not just Kawaii Thai at this point. <laughs> a Kogas tattoo. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I can commit that that much. That's that's a lot of commitment. I have a Kogal's <laughs> pin. That's a co you're gonna have a Kogal's eat a sweater. <laughs> no, I I this is the first this is the eat a sweater like, though. Somebody should make that. I just think that's like that's a good idea. I, yeah. I'll stick a bunch of the rose foray pins on there. I was telling Emma that we should get matching Krampus tattoos. Ooh, Ooh there you go. <laughs> Ultimate goth goals there. Actually, I don't know. I'm I not was, goth. I was gonna I say don't I don't know. feel like Christmas is goth goals. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's like a it's a pretty um like classic tattoo design to get Krampus's. Yeah. Cause it's just the devil. Yeah, I don't know how I don't know how goth works. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Just so you could know, have it be a rose. Her own, own black stuff. She pretends like she doesn't, but I've seen her. <laughs> I own like two <laughs> black things. I bought. I bought a pair of pants that were black and they got a bunch of Mishka hair on them and I'm like mad now. I'm like, I don't want to wear these again. <laughs> Why does anyone do this? Literally. I mean, he's gray. He's not even white. I'm just going to put half of these buttons on. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. There we go. If someone wants to buy a button, we have swag. I want a button. <laughs> You can have one for free if you pay. <laughs> I'm gonna boot home. Boot home. <laughs> it's funny how you say that. Boot home. Yeah, I just make it. shit up. I don't even know. I don't know. You're correct. Is it boot home? Yeah, it is. Whoa! Oh. Damn! Look oh. at me knowing oh. French. I actually don't know if that's the correct word, but I'm like, that's it how you would say word. it. If it the was. only reason I know this is the correct word is because you know, in Animaniacs. There's dog button. What? You know, there, there was an episode where it was all in French, and she just is calling him Bouton. <laughs> Good. Good. I was thinking kind of like a boutonniere. That's like a thing, right? Oh, that yeah, that makes sense. So that you guys you know actually, like, uh, figure out how to how to um pronounce your event, your gato gato. <laughs> Garnet gato. Garnet gato. Yeah, you're all in French too, Rosé Rosé Foray. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is. is. It is Rosé yeah. Foray. So but I'm like, that's not how you pronounce that. <laughs> <laughs> when we're I not, first, we're not French. Don't expect that much. From when us. you first send us that email, I was just like, is the event like Rosé themed? So like, it's just. It's just drinking. <laughs> okay, literally. You. When we were when we were discussing um, like themes and stuff, we were like Versailles. We're gonna have a fountain of rosé champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Make yeah. it a fountain of cheese, and I'm there. Is that this like is, so on the freaking fountain is, thing? Like I was wait, wondering, what? like why will she not drop this fountain thing? <laughs> Because it's a fountain of rosé. Because it's rosé. I didn't understand before. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it had like rose petals floating in it, though. That'd be hella cool. Curious. Uh. Yes. <laughs> I also want a rosé panel. Just, just. Oh, okay. If you're under twenty-one, we'll make it. Um, not like rose It'll soda or something. That's yeah. how that's fancy. Or like strawberry is close to it. You get that rose, fake wine. Right? That yeah. fake yeah. wine that pregnant women drink. <laughs> <laughs> so what what's it called? What is that? I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> where we just talk about like roses and everything. How to, how to grow them. Um, talk about like your favorite. Sure. 
roses. I don't know. Mocktails. Yeah, that works. I actually bought a sparkling grape juice from Trader Joe's. It was sparkling. Oh my god, sugar plum, spiced sugar plum. Thank you. It was, I it was pretty good. I bought something from the vendors too, and I, I can't remember what it was though. <laughs> I just remember <laughs> buying it because I was like, hey, that's cute. Trader Joe's, yeah. Yeah, rose syrup. Ooh. I actually got some rose tea recently. Mm. That's like speaking of rose tea, we have a place down here in Colorado Springs called Silverhawk. They have a really good black rose tea. Just, just saying, Colorado. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. <laughs> That's like my favorite tea um, from local places is the uh, black rose tea. I didn't get bells, but I have buttons. Ooh. <laughs> this is so what I have. So this is what I bought from. I got her brooch with the um with the doll parts on it. Yeah, oh, that one's so good. This yeah, the one. I had forgotten <sighs> I bought it. I just remember I bought from one of our vendors, and I was like, yeah. I, I ordered. I haven't First even had very quality. There's such good stuff. I haven't even had a chance to like properly look. Yeah, there's so many. There's a lot. <laughs> from Raspberry Mazahis whenever I get them. I'm going to I'm going to put in an order. I have money. I have money. I just don't I want to. <laughs> I still have like my gift cards and stuff from Grammarly. Oh yeah. <laughs> that I need winter, to use. I was like, oh, I'll use them for winter in the woodlands because I don't really do like Halloween stuff, but I haven't even had a chance to look at people's things and see what they released. And what brand did you win from? I don't know. It was a bunch <laughs> of them. Yeah. There was like a package yeah, of gifts. Place. Yeah, it was a package pack. Because it was the the coordinate runner up thingy. Yeah, let me check. We put your picture on the website, by the way. Oh, <laughs> very masochist. They have such good things. I like. I wanted what uh, that choker that has the like the the bleeding parts. You know what I'm talking oh, yeah. about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one that I wanted. But it's. I think it's like 150 dollars. So I have to like. Yeah. I have to wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Gotta. What's the shop that has that red tartan dress that I keep seeing that I'm like, I don't even like Summer that. Like that. Yeah, that one. Summer I know. Girl, the I tartan one. Um, but uh, RR Memorandum has had like a tartan yeah. skirt, which is really good. And um, Tour New Soul came out with a tartan skirt as well. Tartan is so in for winter. Tartan is yeah, the reason for the season. I love tartan. And I know Lilith A. Adali is doing an old school collection too for their next thing. Ooh. That's exciting. Yeah, I was looking up what your prizes are. I want to know. <laughs> the prizes are so good. I'm really upset that we can't be <laughs> I was like, I want to win cool stuff. You know, right? <laughs> uh, that means that everyone else who's watching right now. Yeah, everyone else needs to enter the charity it's, it's drawing. a good bit. Yeah, so or six, not four, even, right the, not even necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> I know, everyone else is like, uh, I'm not gonna see. We already did this channel. shit, we've been here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the things that you won were a Gato Designs, Dandy Papatois, Cotton Book, Paradise Rose, Plushy yes. Kawhi, Pop Princess, and Twilight Fashion. Yes. Um, Dandy Papatois came out with that really cute. I know. Um, I saw the little the angel cupcake. Yeah, those are cute. Yeah, I was I was thinking about that. <laughs> I think they said that they have another release planned. They like originally were going to do Good something night, else, Meredith. but um. This one's really cute. I mean, their stuff looks so cool. Yeah, they're very. I I like the like acrylic jewelry stuff that a lot of people are coming out with recently. I think Miss Octopi even came out with like yeah. acrylic stuff 
recently like, and I'm like this pink candy canes. Yeah, I'm living for it. They're real cute. Mm -hmm. And let's put this button on upside down. I feel like my bat wings are looking kind of sparse and this is where <laughs> I'm at. But you know what? I mean, you're getting there. It's looking like a bat wing. <laughs> Good night, Jamie. Good night, Meredith. Get you yeah. some, okay. get you I some sleepy sleeps. I think I'm done with my ugly sweater. You guys want to see the and final? Yeah. Okay. These, these are my my buttons. <gasps> I got this. Oh, <laughs> I got this oh my god. Oh. Okay. Okay. You have to put Christmas lights and flamingos in there. Flamingos. <laughs> yeah. You can't you can't forget the flamingo. Okay. And then um it would be worn with the Victorian maiden flamingo dress. <sighs> or I have I have the Emily Temple cute flamingo one with the with the ballet slippers, also an option. I was kind of going for like Hamburglar goes to Florida, <laughs> like to retire. <laughs> Hamburglar I mean, friendly takes the vacation he deserves. We were still on the Florida theme with the flamingos, but flamingos. I can, I can squeeze a flamingo in here somewhere. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's all I want. That's all I want is flamingos. I'm not even decorating anymore. I'm literally just putting these super pins on here. It's decorating. How's that not decorating? Yeah. Look, yeah. look at this. Look. <laughs> <laughs> she just, she is like, yeah, I'll make this the Eda sweater. This is a, this is a decorative. Look at these. Look at these pins. So, they match the pom poms. So I'm not mad. I'm not mad about it. I have like a box of other stuff though. I have ribbon. I have ribbon. Yeah. Um, I got my uwu patch. I don't know if I'm ready to commit to that yet, but um, that is not even. I have so many pins left. <laughs> I have this angelic pretty ribbon that happens to be mint. You, you can't. There you go. Angelic pretty. Angelic pretty. Uh, for Rando, I have a B. I have a glue pen to glue shit on that I don't have. And also star lace. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Hell yeah. It, it doesn't go with the pom-poms though. Now I'm like. <sighs> <laughs> he kind of sounds like I I mean you're not wrong. It kind of sounds like Jingle Bells, so <laughs> maybe. Where did where did Pusheen go? Oh my bird! I dang! I got a bunch of stuff to add on here. I'm slacking. Sweater bird. Sweater bird needs to go on here. Um. I, I don't know where my pushing went, but if I find it, it'll go on here. And my lights! Damn! Wait, okay. is your cat still wearing a sweater? Yeah. <laughs> He's just but... been in a sweater this whole time. Are you going to put the sweater bird on the shoulder? Ooh, maybe. <laughs> okay. Mishka has been in that sweater, like, all day. <laughs> No, he's warm enough. He's like super fluffy, but he's he's been in that sweater all day. And I mean, I don't know where he went, but he's still in that sweater, so <laughs> he's gonna stay there. <laughs> I literally bought that because I was like, oh, Mish. He needs a sweater. He needs to match in case he makes a guest appearance on the panel. And then <laughs> he just, he was here for like five minutes and then he left. <laughs> I will never free him. <laughs> he will never be free. He is my 
child. Oh my God. Come here, bird. Come here. You're lucky you're not a real bird. <laughs> Does Mishka just mean cat? Mouse. Mishka is oh, mouse. mouse, <laughs> but it's also like, it's like a term of endearment in Russian oh. and can mean like bear too, like teddy bear. Um, yeah, Norm's from Latvia, which is like basically Russia. <laughs> Um, but he's he's part Russian blue, so that's why we named him that. Um, it was that or Boris, and I was like, he is not going to be named Boris. <laughs> Such a mature name for a kid. Or, or Borscht. 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 Christmas. <laughs> that's good. I was like, we're not naming him after Beats, so Mishka it is. Because he's gray, like a mouse. And he's fluffy like a bear. It's yeah, that's appropriate. Yeah, and it's fun to say, Mishka. Mishka. <laughs> a bibbity bobbity, a Mishka. Okay, I have to figure out how to include these. How are you even gonna get it gonna get those on there? It's a sweater, Nicole. I'll figure it out. <laughs> are you gonna put the battery pack in a pocket? I there's no pocket. I actually no. I actually thought about like stitching a pocket in here ahead of time. <laughs> but 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 see see this? See this? The sweater. Damn. Okay. Perfect size. My All hat right, right. Then isn't glued in any. I got the flamingo. <gasps> you ready? Yes. yes. I made an outfit. I made some pants. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized that the position on the, the flamingo on the pants is kind of suspect. So. <laughs> It's it's a little oh inappropriate, but you know it's what? Just a flamingo. Yeah, it's a flamingo. Uh, this will be going on sale at the next event uh, for it's the low auction. price. <laughs> it's an auction. <laughs> I I'd buy it. I I would buy him. <laughs> put it, put it, it on the, put it on lace market. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my gosh, yes. Limited <laughs> edition. I didn't $200. Okay, I wouldn't pay $200 for it, but I would. What the heck with beads? I I know. beads. Is, are you gonna, are you gonna beat the whole, are you gonna beat it on a whole ass sweater though? Is that, that's my question. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Just... <laughs> See, if it was actually beaded on a real sweater, then I would buy it for that price maybe. Maybe, but <laughs> but it's it's just the concept at this point. What you don't even know is this is one of the best things I've ever drawn. <laughs> I mean, it, it's pretty good. It's very good. Amazing. Good aesthetic. Every time we have this like <laughs> those contests where you like draw the cord on the dress. <laughs> It come out so bad. Oh no! I'm gonna frame this. This is going up on my wall next to my Imaikira print. Hey, yes, full level. <laughs> Just kidding. Cash. <laughs> no, no, don't throw him away. He doesn't deserve that. He deserves better. How could you? <laughs> Maybe put on like your fridge for like a couple days. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like, who drew this? <laughs> who else? <laughs> a child came over here when I was. <laughs> Somebody would wear your flamingo pants. <laughs> <laughs> The pop sellers be like very, very indie friends. I just think Hawaii loves a really baby doll crop top. Yeah, to oh gosh, let me go set. Oh 
Oh man. I tried to get that in in one breath. I couldn't wasn't gonna happen, but oh this was good. <laughs> Ooh, cape, cape fade oh. flamingo stuff. Oh fade. It's it is a whole aesthetic. Yeah. Shout out to her for doing cute ass novelty purses. I love that for us as long as for her because she's gone. She doesn't even own that company. What? She doesn't own that company. She committed suicide. But she didn't even own that company before that. She, she owned didn't? it for like five years and then she sold uh, it. Yeah. What? They just, yeah, they just bought her name. Oh. Mm. Oh, I didn't know that. That's still sad. I didn't either. Though. It is sad. Um. Vendula yeah, London I, is like the only other company I've heard of. And I've seen that make like purses that you could wear with Lolita. They're like little storefronts. Mm -hmm. So they have like apothecary ones. They have like bookstore oh, ones. That's really cute. They're really cute. So cute. I I like, like Betsy, Betsy Johnson has some pretty decent ones. Um, I'm gonna wear juicy with my shit regardless. So, you know, leave me alone. Oh my gosh, can you imagine a whole like Jay's Cade made of like terry cloth? <laughs> I would buy it. Please, that would be amazing. <laughs> with, like gold, like you mean, Jay You mean detailing. the Katsu OPs from AP? <laughs> oh my God. And it says like, like juicy just on the butt but of the dress. Oh. <laughs> I I would buy it. <laughs> we should make Honestly. that. That should be a thing. Thank you. We're of it, it'll be into existence. Yeah. Oh, speaking of crafting panels and purses though, um, <laughs> Mindy came up with a cute idea, which let us know if you would be interested in this. Um, making purses out of stuffed animals. Ooh. Like you take the stuffed animal and you like you give it surgery. Ooh. Make it into a cute purse for yourself. You dissect them. Only if it didn't involve sewing. No, I think it has to involve sewing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not interested. You can try it, but it might not hold up. <laughs> Make it with um string. What? <laughs> you mean sewing I all thread? You need to put in a lining. You need to like take out the stuffing. Oh, no. We don't we don't need lining in here. You're gonna make it with <laughs> it's just the skin of the animal. <laughs> you know. Sewing. So that's like already what I do is just you know. <laughs> No, just hot glue it. Like Wait, don't you sew? <laughs> Are you talking to no. me? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> she doesn't make her own stuff. Okay. <laughs> That's valid. <laughs> well, I, I, I know how to, and I actually am pretty good at it. It's just like I don't want to do the whole thing with the sewing machine, like threading it. Like I don't remember how to do that. And I don't want to bother to figure it out. So that's Bro, get you a sewing machine that does it for I you. Have Oh, okay. I don't. <laughs> I, have two two sewing I have one. I have two sewing machines, and I just don't want to thread them. Is what it is. Well, apparently, it doesn't work with glue, so um, <laughs> I'll make it work. So I guess we're just not gonna have this panel. Is what it is. <laughs> I mean, we'll still have it, just not. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. Be patient. It's fine. <laughs> Friends, I'm gonna head out. Yeah, go, go hey, to sleep. Have a, it's late. <laughs> that morning one with the coffee. What oh, about yeah, coffee? that one does sound good. So I should. Oh, I'm not gonna wake, wake up for that. I have to be awake later for. I'm usually right awake around that time, anyways. <sighs> but this was fun, everyone. Thank you for and letting me indulge you with my yeah. lovely drawing here. Be on the so lookout cute. for. Thank you. Thank you. For this is like a sneak peek of your new collection. Yep. Drop oh out. Summer collection 2022. 
Corona yeah. K. Yeah. <laughs> I'd buy it. So hey, y'all have a good night. Night. Bye. 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 Thank you. Oh my gosh. Who's <laughs> Flamingo Cord? Flamingo. Nice Kim. Flamingo Cord. With her flamingo pants. She was like, I'm going to flamingo go to sleep. <gasps> Damn. <laughs> what a mood. Oh. I feel that. I feel that. Except I'm putting life on my sweater. I should probably but... work with my panel. <laughs> Whatever. Nah. Who needs to do that? Ray, how close are you to done? There is no done here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just waiting to see what you're doing. <laughs> I'm just I'm sticking shit on a sweater and then we're seeing how it goes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Done. There's no done. Do you know me? My streams normally last like six hours. I haven't I haven't watched any of your streams in a while. I, the it's okay, I've been streaming fake a while. <laughs> when, it's just cause, like my my internet doesn't stay connected to if I'm like on Wi-Fi. <laughs> and then like I don't want to be sitting here for <laughs> hours. Bro, my streams like I haven't I've streamed once since my birthday. I used to stream like three times a week, and now I'm just like you're letting your subscribers I'm busy. down. I mean, no. to be fair though, you're very very busy now. I, yeah, I only have two subs left, and one of them is Norm. <laughs> like right now, we're all doing shit every single day. I've been so busy. <laughs> I've been so busy. I haven't had time for streaming, and it sucks because Twitch Sings is like my main outlet for streaming and they're shutting down at the end of the month wait what yeah um because they don't want to pay for uh the license for the songs anymore mm. <laughs> thanks amazon so you're just not gonna stream anymore is what you're saying no i'll stream something i just have yeah, I was like, maybe I'll just do like cocktails and crafting or something. I don't know. I haven't Stick figured it bitch. out. I also play ukulele, but it, like also never do. <laughs> so I'm like, eh, I could, I could do that. You're good. You're good, Quinn. I'm like, oh, I'll figure something out eventually. I figure I'll at least throw a few uh, Twitch Sings parties out there before the end of the year and, like, hang out with some of the friends I made through Twitch Sings and stuff, but... Yeah, the real treasure is the friend you made along the way. Yeah. <laughs> One of my friends tagged me on Instagram earlier, and I'm like... No, you're going to make me cry. I haven't been able to do anything recently, but I'll be back. So, yeah, everyone go follow Ray on her personal channel. Yeah, you can if you want. It's it. in being. <laughs> and there's no point. She's not streaming for us no more. Oh, my God. I'm going to stream. It's just She'll different She'll do it stuff. if you follow I'm not, her. I'm not drunkenly singing as yeah. much. There's a as... whole, what, 17 of you in chat. Everyone go follow her and she'll stream. <gasps> oh. I mean, honestly, most of my streams are like this, but instead of crafting, I'm singing bad karaoke, so it's fine. <laughs> also, sometimes I play Amnesia. Thanks, Nari. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Nari. <laughs> She's the mod, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes sometimes Good they play mod, horror. Dude. I was going to do Outlast, but I haven't finished Amnesia yet. <laughs> like, I've finished Amnesia, but not on stream. 
So I'm like, I should probably finish one thing before I start another, but I I am a multi-talented tattoo for it. <laughs> multi-talented. <gasps> oh honestly same except i finished my tea but it's fine i, am, I still have oh, oh that was almost <laughs> I, am, I, I, it. I, I finished so, i finished this so you know how everyone has like just a character that they kind of like and they just kind of end up collecting things about this character for example liz really likes princess peach what is your guys' character? Um, I think it's skeletons. Girl. Just I in see, general. No, I mean like a real, real character. For example, mine is Mickey Mouse. But uh, I have to black and white Mickey Mouse. How do I have a character? Um, Jin based on. Oh, I've got like some stormtrooper stuff. I have, I have like. Pusheen stuff too, but Jin yeah, based on is is Pusheen. You you have like a lot of Pusheen but stuff. Like weird on. amount of Pusheen stuff. <laughs> um everyone collects things, but your thing is weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean she has a oh, lot you of collect like dead dead things. Things. everything that's ever existed. Dead things. That's what about that's oh, wait, do, do you have the giant Pusheen? I don't. I don't. You should get giant pushy. I have giant really cool. So Chantel, though. is yours Rilakkuma? I have giant Rilakkuma. Um, I don't have giant. Pushy, though. What is your anime person? I don't. I don't watch anime. What's I'm an anime? Nari. Oh. <laughs> Nari is Nari is that one that one blonde chick. She says. That's she says, I have a giant case of figures of my favorite anime character. Tell us. Her name is Nari. Cello, <laughs> <laughs> um, what is, what is your question? Who else in this chat is going to answer this question? Cello might. Oh my god, this is so heavy. I really like this. Is now an ASMR um, stream? Honestly, yeah. I was like, we don't have anyone after this, so at this point, like, who even cares? Is it? Is it Miku? It's maybe Miku. It's probably Miku. Who is Miku? The teal-haired chick from <laughs> um um uh, Vocaloid. Yeah. Why are you laughing? <laughs> It was like a thing. time period where everything was like all Miku in terms of like it was. It was. It was all Miku all the time, and people would like do like really bad Miku cosplay, and like you'd see them at like cons with like ratty ass wigs. Like <laughs> it was a whole ass thing. <laughs> all right, so Stella, do you have a Miku cosplay? <laughs> <laughs> I I'll I would take that as a no. Um, Tina, who runs um, March and Maiden, has a bunch of. I know she's like a Miku. She collects Miku like figurines and stuff. So she's done like good Miku cosplay. I don't I don't really Very do cute. anime, but I like shit like this. Look at look at his face. <laughs> Mari said, or, the character is Nanoha. She inspired Madoka. The writers and directors from Nanoha made Madoka. Nanoha. Nanoha. Just Googling that. I just have oh, an obsession okay. with anything with this face. Look at, look, look. They have the yeah. same face. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a ditto, kind of. Exactly. No, this is a ditto. It's like the Adventure Time face. No, yeah. it's ditto. Yeah, that's <laughs> like the thing that they have in Adventure Time. It's ditto. Okay, it's ditto. Sailor Moon, you guys are all freaking weebs. <laughs> right? I'm here like, yeah, oh, we're, no, we're, we're all here like, 
Who are these anime bitches? I know, I'm like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> look, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna focus, Webcat? Oh, there he goes! <gasps> I'm gonna put him on. I feel like to... Disney stuff isn't really that hard to collect, though. I mean, I don't know. I yeah. find like making mini stuff all the time. Remember yeah. when people yeah. were collecting? Um, what are the things? Zoom zooms. <gasps> mm -hmm. Leave zoom those... zooms alone. I never said anything bad about zoom <laughs> zooms. <laughs> that was just like gotta... really like people were like, I need every single one. I this have game is like a booty baby. I still play the game. I have my to put one my... Zoom is like a medium sized one, and that's the one I have. I have to put my sweater Sometimes on. Sometimes when I get really fat dogs, I call them Zoom Zooms. <laughs> why? Why? Because they're like, they got that like round body and then the little legs, like a <laughs> <laughs> She's going to put it on. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Are you okay? <laughs> it got stuck on my ear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it, it's all it's lit. <laughs> yeah. Literally it's lit. It's lit. Hey. <laughs> That's the point. He yeah. up. I'm sad because they didn't have the the flashing ones available. They had some had some flashy lights, and I was like, "Ooh!" But what, do you, what is the? Where did you end up putting the battery for the lights? He's in the sweater. Oh, the the little sweater, the tiny oh. sweater. Oh, <laughs> he's, where did, he's in here. Oh, I thought you were kind of like inside of the. Sweater. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make a pocket for it originally, but now you I can was like, like, "Don't talk to me or my son ever again." You just literally. Look at this. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why my Kyo like hates anything that's close to the camera, but look, look at him. Look yeah, at him. that's the camera that I just bought. Is a Kyo. <laughs> he he does fine. It's just like whatever I try to show. Yeah, you move around too much. It's just to focus. Yeah, I can I can set it so it doesn't like adjust every time I move, but also I'm lazy. So, yeah. And I move a lot. So it, it's going to be weird either way. But my sweater he lights up. You did great, sweaty. Sweaty <laughs> <laughs> oh, spaghetti. Wow. Look at him. Look at all my buttons. I saw three sweater. I'm fulfilled. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So if y'all in chat <laughs> Amazing sweaters, please post them and please do please tag, tag them on Instagram. Yeah. We have our hashtag rose for a winter event. I want to see your sweater core. Yeah. Yeah. You. I made <laughs> just for Ray. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, oh, oh. There's a there's a sweater button on the loop. Yeah. Ah, oh, I have a wreath on the floor. <laughs> wreath down, wreath down. What is this is what this is the this is the progress I've made on this one wing, which is. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's it's not great. You can still see like oop, it's got like bits showing, but you know what? <laughs> Pretty good though. Okay, you don't, you want to know the bad part? I worked so hard to find stuff. Everybody to this the chat. sweater. That's fine. <laughs> Everybody's I leaving the chat. So I worked so hard to find <laughs> stuff for this sweater, and I ended up using a bunch of fucking pins I had already. Oh my gosh! I didn't even need to go find stuff for it in the first place. No I am order. leaving though. Good night, you guys. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. we'll and, um, tune in for panels tomorrow. We'll yeah. Starting we, have, uh, we have coffee for those, those people that can't handle we'll morning tables. It'll be fun. I swear. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have a good weekend. Yeah. Fun. 
coming to day one. <laughs> yeah, this is day one. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, we have, a, we have a long night. It's fine. Okay, bye. <laughs> Good night. Bye, guys. Okay. Are we still here? I'm still here with buttons. I'm still here with you. I'm, I'm pinning buttons on here. People here. If you guys want to <laughs> stay and chat, we'll just be here. I guess we're not leaving yeah. our houses. I don't. I don't know what's happening anymore. Buttons. It's a flat That's circle. <laughs> you didn't even work on a sweater. You didn't. You I didn't work on this one wing. <laughs> I know, but I I linked you a sweater and I, didn't I got I pink it. It. So it's like pink now. <laughs> if I was a food, what food would I be? Oh. I don't I don't I don't know how to respond to that. Like, is it um like a this is who I am as a person, like personality wise, or is it like a, this is my favorite food and I want to be it thing? Yeah, that's that's the kind of that's the kind of question you gotta ask. I think I would be a century egg. What the heck is that? Um, they're these like dark green fermented eggs. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and they're very like pungent. Um, and is it kind of like the the tea eggs? No. So it like basically ferments and then the outside gets turns into like almost a jelly and it's like very um you don't eat it by itself because it's like kind of stinky oh. um and it was with like tofu but i feel like yeah. i feel like it's like um controversial and a lot of people don't like it so that's me <laughs> <laughs> fair enough fair fair enough I would be like something <laughs> really dumb like borscht soup. You don't call your cat borscht, but you call yourself borscht. <laughs> yeah, because like who... Okay, I eat borscht soup. I was going to say who actually eats borscht, but I'm white. <laughs> white. Okay, not white people, but like European white people eat borscht soup. And that sounds warm and inviting. That sounds lovely. Yeah, but do you like beets? Because that's all it is. I do. I really do oh. really enjoy beets. Truly. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> it, it, is not, it is not a taste for everyone. So, understandable if you hate borscht. Um, I actually prefer nefla because potatoes and dumplings are superior to borscht. But so some answers here: <laughs> peanut butter, chocolate dessert, or macaron. Fair, fair enough. Star shake bunuelo. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. Is some that spicy? Okay. okay, okay. Mashed potatoes. <gasps> How do we? Stew. What the heck? <laughs> Mashed Josie. potatoes. Josie. Josie, I know. Why are you not? Why are you not doing a panel? How you dare one, you? How you dare you? Time, please. I told her to do one, and she didn't. She didn't submit one. <sighs> Let's see. I told her mashed potatoes, something <laughs> sweet and spicy. Like, ooh, that's fancy. Green chili pie with cheddar. That sounds fancy. Yeah, y'all are fancy. I'm like, yeah, I'm borscht. <laughs> <laughs> Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fine. I also invited Mint Kismet to do one, and she did not either. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, you know. I'll, I'll applications again for the February thing. Uh, yeah. Probably. Yeah this event maybe in january so yeah, yeah. except yeah. that's not my event <laughs> it's my friend how dare you <laughs> Boo. <laughs> and everyone's hungry and then we got some i am also hungry emojis. honestly chicken noki emojis oh <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you guys, um, <laughs> Ray I drew me some chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Ray drew me some chickens. These are literally the best project that we're working on. Um, Bay Area I love them so much. So you will get to see some beautiful chickens at closing ceremony. Yeah, if y'all show up to the closing ceremony, Before you're gonna see my chickens, them. and they're the greatest chickens in existence. Um, tortellini and tomato <gasps> sauce. Ooh, ooh. Mm, Alfredo. Oh, mm, I'd like me some Alfredo. Some lasagna. Like lasagna. <laughs> lasagna. Honestly, so Kelp one time said something that's like, I heard Kelp say something like, my mind is a sieve, and I have not stopped thinking about that. <laughs> that's my mind all the time. That makes so much sense. <laughs> and blood pie. Yum. Oh. Love oh. that. Oh. Yes. That's intense. Breakfast. My dad used to make me spaghetti all the time for breakfast. How good. I don't, I don't um <laughs> I don't my <laughs> My family makes, well, I make lasagna for my family for Christmas. That's our uh, Christmas tradition. <laughs> Are you going to be able to do that this year? Maybe. Maybe. Because it's like, my brother has his own family, so I'm like, we might be able to see, like, my parents. Mm -hmm. so we'll, we'll see. But Norm also makes stuff. Latvian stuff. Mm. So maybe. Maybe. Yeah. We just went under lockdown here and so the uh rules are stricter now than they were like last week. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what I don't think I can travel for Christmas. I might just be sitting here by myself alone. <laughs> Where? You have us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of food, though, I have no idea. Yeah, I pff, honestly, Maybe. I don't either. I feel like if nothing else, I can go pick up some pierogies because there's a bunch of white people here. <laughs> I feel like um, all the Asian people I know, or at least maybe just Chinese people, I'm not sure, but it's always like holiday dinners are like noodles. Hmm. I wouldn't complain about that. I I like noodles. Fun. Those are good. I make I make a mean mean lasagna. So. Like, have you seen <laughs> Have you seen Paris Hilton's video on how to make lasagna? No, it's extremely good. It's she wears like le fingerless leather gloves the entire time she's like cooking, and then she like grabs like mozzarella with her gloved hands, and then she's like holding like the sheets of lasagna, and she's like, "You have to be really delicate with these," and she just like throws them in the pot. It's <laughs> such top tier comedy. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I, I would watch something very like good. That, honestly. <laughs> oh. 10 out of 10. And she's like, <laughs> any anything <laughs> related to Juicy Couture. And so yeah. I would, yeah. Um, I just she's like, I'm like a really good cook. Like everyone knows I'm like a really good cook. And then she's like in her kitchen being like, I don't know where anything is. <laughs> That's like me. I took, culinary, I took culinary courses. And also at the same time, I'm terrible at it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I can I can bake, it's fine, but um, also I choose not to Wait, because bake. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I went to fashion school and proceeded to never sew again in my life. Cause yeah, it happened. Trauma. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fever dream. <sighs> Literally anything that has juicy plastered across the ass, I will buy. <laughs> Right, exactly. Going back to we should yes. make the dresses in terry cloth. Like, even even if it's ass. not terry cloth, like if it says juicy on it, I will buy it. <laughs> I have I have mugs. I have mugs. I have pajamas. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> 
that's your character. <laughs> Literally. That's, your character I just, uh, that's that's my my animu character. If I was an OC, <laughs> it's just Paris Hilton. <laughs> basically, basically. Oh my god! Look at look at my sweater. That's good. <laughs> They're all just buns that say rose for it. It's fine. <laughs> it's like good for the theme anyway. Like I have I have some lights and my my shoulder bird. There he is. Oh yeah, put a bird on it. Yeah, he has a sweater too, so Everyone we're doing <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's fine. You know. The huge <laughs> I'm not done with this wing. I like don't know. When I'm I don't know. I feel like I, I literally use it's fuzzy. This, I use this entire bag of buttons. <laughs> <laughs> now that people have to like buy it off your body, <laughs> um, it's extra, by the way. Yeah. Um. You get. You get all. <laughs> all of it. Like she's touched them, so now it's extra if you want to buy it. It's not like whatever the cost of buttons is anymore. It's like five dollars. Five dollars. I, I don't even know what buttons cost. <laughs> they're they're extra. <gasps> yeah. Pay yeah. More. Extra. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just kind of like doing this randomly try and fill in the these gaps i don't know if that's what you're supposed to do but it's what's happening yes i mean mm -hmm. honestly when i do i when i do stuff like that i just kind of wing it until it looks like it's supposed to so yeah, <laughs> yeah. i don't know i'm not exactly. sure premium I'm premium to me touching the <laughs> yeah now I just look like I'm feeling myself off. No. <laughs> That's against the rules. <laughs> Is it against TOS probably. though? It's probably against the rules. I'm not sleeping. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. We can't sleep. <laughs> That's that's against TOS. Ah. Now I'm now I'm mad because I have a cat cam and Mishka hasn't been here like all night, <laughs> except you know before I actually went live. And I haven't got him a sweater for the occasion. <laughs> have him wear the sweater for tea and have him join you for tea. He'll probably join whether I want him to or not. But also, I'm, like, a host, so I'm not actually in a room. You're jumping from room to room, right? Yeah. I'll yeah. just force him to hang out with me and be like, look at my cat. <laughs> How much does a cat love buttons? I, that is a good question. We'll find out. If you yeah. go towards him and you're like, jingle, jingle, he's like. He no. he has a little little jingly bell on his collar, but um, he left this before I put buttons on my sweater. <laughs> so. Wait, put some buttons on his sweater. <laughs> so there was there was a sweater that had bells on it, like in a Christmas tree shape, and I almost bought that one for him, but it was like twice the price of the one that he has. I think this wing is complete, but I'm not really I, sure. I mean, it, it looks it looks complete. I can't last, like almost two hours to do this one wing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so small. Which Lily does like oh, one panel and finish this entire thing in like two hours. She's used or, to like, it. For like one hour and like yeah. thirty. That's why she sells them. Uh, yeah. Go to shop paradise rose hold on paradise me... rose shop yeah is... we're the only ones here you have to link it now i have to link it i will be my own mod <laughs> <laughs> i'm out of mead i think i think she's still selling the... i'm not sure if she's still selling oh, the um... is still here. Okay. she is still selling the set so if you want to make your own you can buy a set and you can <laughs> struggle your way through it with there's me. also like well, not with you because you are 
like had um, done in solidarity. In solidarity. <laughs> Also, she has the tutorials are on YouTube. Like, yeah, on the on the previous panels for the previous. Yeah, panels. they're on YouTube, so you can watch them and yeah. follow along. That's not there's, what I chose. There's to. like fluffy star clips and stuff. Mm -hmm. She got she got some good shit. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fair. You probably got further than I did, honestly. All I did was like hot glue some pom poms and like stick a button. button on <laughs> but <laughs> there's so you second wing. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I just have one wing like this. <gasps> yeah, 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 you're a one winged. Angle. Angle. I can be your devil. Your angle or your devil. <laughs> I'll be your angle if you'll be my devil. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, here it is. I found it. Maybe I'll, I probably won't finish this today. I'll just like not touch it again for a few months. <laughs> until, until the next grab. Until February. Um, yeah. No, the next <laughs> The next until next Halloween, which will still all be in quarantine exactly. or some shit. Probably we'll be like in bunkers underground. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> shut up, Josie. <laughs> no, leave me alone. <laughs> acute ankle. <laughs> the acutest. Or is it or is it a kawaii angle? I feel like I'm obtuse. <laughs> You're obtuse? Okay. Obtuse. Sure. sure. I'm, I'm, a you. Me. I'm a kawaii. Yeah, you're definitely a kawaii. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't take anyone serious at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this has been a successful crafting panel. Yeah, like the whole point was just shit posting stuff and that's basically yeah. what we did so you know here's here's a ditto for you guys to stare at <laughs> who was it i think um sugar star is doing ditto like ditto treats some kind of like ditto necklace or something um excuse me wait you didn't do you not look at the site <laughs> no i maybe, haven't had time i've been maybe, so busy maybe the ditto stuff <sighs> Hold on. What? There's, where is it? Oh, is it? Hmm. Oh, I guess it's a chancy stuff. I don't oh, know. Oh, that's not the okay. Same. No, it's not. I thought. I swear to God, she had ditto stuff. Hmm. Oh, ditto. He's my favorite. That's the only Pokemon I care about. <laughs> oh no, I don't see ditto. But there is more cute Pokemon stuff. Here, Josie. Josie. Jazzy, make make your own. Oh my god, it's not gonna pop. Make your own ugly sweater. Make Sarah do it too. We will be will be a whole ugly sweater community. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a ditto face for you? Good, good, good. Safe I don't know why I keep trying. I don't know why I keep trying to show people stuff on this camera because it doesn't work. But also, they have the same face. <laughs> they have, they have, they have the same face. I love and that I people are still like, here. <laughs> I know, like. <laughs> Thanks. People still want to listen. Nara's <laughs> still out here doing her job. <laughs> I know. Y'all, y'all don't have to. Y'all don't have to say the panel ended like an hour ago. <laughs> we had um, we had a a, a draw along panel during Grammarly that lasted like <laughs> the eight hour hours. one, right? Oh. Yeah, like, like seven or eight hours. <laughs> I was there for like the first three, and I'm like. I'm going to like we 
if we if you count those hours, we probably had like 24 hours of content straight. <laughs> I mean, yeah. In all fairness, in, in Dublin, it's like definitely normal hours of day. So it's, it's not fine. Even one o'clock for me. It's fine. It's and you just like almost it's almost two for you, right? So yeah, yeah it's like normal. <laughs> I'll finish my panel in the morning. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I go to bed at like 10. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, honestly, I only go to bed at like 10, though, because Norm goes to bed at 10. So I'm like, okay, fine. I guess I'll go to bed. But it's fine. I definitely cannot pull all nighters, though. Um, oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I have insomnia, so that is, like, physically not possible for me. I have the opposite of insomnia, um, which is, I'm very good at sleeping. Mine's not, like, <laughs> normal insomnia, because nothing, nothing about me is normal, apparently. My insomnia is that I don't stay asleep during the night, oh, so I, I wake that. up a whole bunch, um... So I'm sleeping, but like not at what cost? <laughs> yeah. So um the the fun kind of insomnia where I'm not awake, can't do shit, but also not asleep. So <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I I I tried to pull all nighters before and it didn't it didn't go well. I feel like I did it like in college out of necessity and now I'm just like I can't do that anymore. Usually usually when I try I'll like finally pass out and then just sleep for like 12 hours straight. <laughs> Nari's going to go for th another 30 minutes. We can have we can be here for another 30 minutes. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> we're good. We're good. What counts as an all nighter? Is it like staying up twenty four hours, or is it just like staying up until like the sun rises? Um, I would say beyond the sunrise, because like, like you have to be awake for the whole ass other day. Like at least six a.m. if not longer. Okay, in that case, I have done that. Okay. I, was, okay. I mean, isn't it late? Yeah. Yeah, it, it is. is late o'clock, Josie. Leave me alone. It's late o'clock for, I guess, for you, because it's almost yeah. two for you. For me, it it's is. one, um, and that's when I'm normally awake. I probably won't go to sleep until, like, three or four, so. I know. Um, Haley was like, yeah, I was up till 5 a.m. I'm like, what? How? Haley and I regularly have like 3 a.m. like meetings. She'll like call me and she'll be like, I have to discuss like this vendor thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't that's, just, I don't that's just our hours though. It's almost three. Okay, you're you're like Midwest then. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Elia, good night. You gotta rest up you for your pen for <laughs> Yours is earlier than mine. I think mine is like night. I don't I don't remember anymore. We have a schedule somewhere. We do have a schedule. Um exclamation mark schedule. <laughs> we yes. That is a that is a thing. <laughs> my computer as soon as Mishka came in here and like laid on my keyboard. He completely messed up, so it doesn't. It's not working properly. I'll have to restart it before we get there. But um, okay, I finished the border of this guy. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this like flosser thingy is actually working better for me than the other one. Good. Good. <gasps> Honestly, Josie, why are you hungover? That's gonna be me tomorrow. So, you know. What did you have to drink? Was it something fun? Was it mead? <laughs> I, I know you talked about it, but 
this side cam, my cat cam. This is <laughs> alcohol cam. About it. It's the solstice, winter solstice edition. <laughs> what broth? What broth are you drinking? Got some soup. Some soup, some soup for your family. Borscht soup. Oh, mystery, mystery so true. <laughs> I, I, I okay. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. See you later, Quinn. If we stay up long enough, we'll get the rest of like the other side of the world. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like it's like the Borealis time slot, but yeah. it's Friday. It's Friday. Well, I guess, I well, guess, I guess it's, it's Saturday. Not Friday it's Saturday. anymore. But speaking of Friday, you know, you know who I follow on TikTok. Ooh. Rebecca Black. She seems like a very nice young lady. She's a hot lesbian now. <laughs> Good for her. <laughs> like, honestly, yeah. What? Mystery so Mystery you tasted like the smell of what? Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Soju is not usually bad for me. Um, that sounds. Yeah, like I can't do vodka very well, but soju I'm fine with. <laughs> no one should be able to do vodka well. <laughs> fair, fair. I, I mean, my husband's from like almost Russia, so. <laughs> I mean, just like everyone starts out drinking vodka, you know. <laughs> Those are the the bad college days. Yeah, everyone like starts out like drinking like um I don't know, screwdrivers. You know, you know what my favorite soju is? Yogurt flavor. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Technically, they don't sell it in Colorado, but there's this sketchy ass Russian liquor store in Denver that I like to buy it from <laughs> because they have it for like five dollars a bottle. Plum soju. So good. Plum. Ooh. I don't know if I've had that. I've had like grape and I've had the yogurt and I've had like definitely like strawberry and lychee. Mm -hmm. The lychee one is good. I've had a, I've had a, I've had a few. Mostly from the sketchy Russian shop. <laughs> <laughs> I want Korean barbecue too. How dare you bring that up? It's been such a long time since I've been able to do any kind of, like, group activity meal. Uh, I know. Oh, just kidding. I lied. I did. I was able to, go, like, have hot pot in my house with my family one time. Mm. That was fun. But I do miss I, getting, like, barbecue with the friendos. I, I, do, I do make a mean duck bulgogi, but it's not, it's not the same not the same yeah. michelle michelle did promise me that she would bring me to k barbecue next time we're able to go to san francisco though so. yeah we should get it together yeah look at us making friends and yeah show. <laughs> you know i've i've been to san francisco like five times yeah you're in the calm <laughs> I, no i'm always like I don't know who any of these people are, what and are I am about? it as hell. <laughs> and I've met so many people in the San Francisco com, and none of them remember me because I'm like, <sighs> we're also just a big ass com. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. And I'm also there like once a year, or so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, next time we'll go get KBBQ. Wait. There was this. Oh no, I can't remember the name of it now. <laughs> Is it KBBQ? No, it's the the Chinese 
appetizer thing. Dim sum. Dim sum. Dim sum. There was a dim sum place. There is a strawberry soju and it's great. It's really um, good. There is. Yes. There was this dim sum place. It wasn't in Chinatown. It was like, I don't know. They had vegan dim sum and stuff. I remember that. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I should but probably know that. I don't think it exists. I'm anymore interested. Because I went with, um, I went to one of the, the anniversary parties with the Portland com mm -hmm. or like a few girls from Portland. That's why I know Kim. <laughs> um, but one of them was vegan. And so we mm -hmm. went to this dim sum place in San Francisco. But I can't remember it for the life of me because Norm wanted to go get dim sum. And I was like, oh, yeah, this place. And then we tried to find it and it just it disappeared off the face of the earth. I'm so sad about that. I would have liked to try <laughs> vegan dim sum. <laughs> yeah. Well, they they had like mushroom options and stuff. I was like, oh, I got like chicken ones and stuff because I don't mm -hmm. eat like, the red meat. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It it was it was pretty tasty, but Norm wanted to get dim sum when we were there, and I looked everywhere for this place, and I could not figure it out. And so I was asking Michelle about it, and she was like, "I don't know," and I'm like, "I don't know either." <laughs> <laughs> I think it was off of like Geary or something. I don't go out, so I really don't have any idea where anything is, and I've lived here for so long. <laughs> Very Fair. Bad. Fair. <laughs> I always go to the same. I always go to the same Japanese restaurant in 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 J Town. So yeah, exactly. Whenever anyone visits, we take them to J Town because mm -hmm. um, the parking's convenient. To be very honest, and Fair. people, I don't know. It's like it. It's like not crowded, so it's like <laughs> not like true, but... it's just nice. I uh, like Curry Cora place closed down though. Oh no. Yeah. That place is so good. It sucks. I like there's this place that has veggie tempura that's like really good. It's one of the places in the J Town Mall, but mm -hmm. I don't remember the name of it. But like they have way better veggie tempura than like Colorado does. And, <laughs> and I miss I miss it. I used to go there all the time when I'd go to San Francisco and that and Happy Crepe. <laughs> oh yeah, what was it? Um the one with the faces on it? Yeah. That was so really cool. good. Doesn't doesn't snail work there? Um uh she used to. She doesn't okay. anymore, but yes, yeah, she used Fair to be enough. the person who made the crepe faces. Um, yes, Josie, there was the, oh my God, I can't remember where it was, but it was like downtown. Um, was it, was it the Japanese restaurant they had? I can't remember the name. They had boba. They had boba. But I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> we should probably wrap up. Now he's getting tired. <laughs> oh, gosh. She's like, I don't know. She's like, about. guys, what the hell? <laughs> why are you still why are you still <laughs> doing this? This is not what I signed up for. I'm like, yes. Hello. Hello. Where's Sarah? Why isn't she here? <laughs> this morning for them and why would you be up <laughs> Josie is I don't know <laughs> okay you also wake up ridiculously early to make baking streams so. okay well it's one o'clock um, for me it's uh, two for you and yeah Nari feel free to go to sleep we're fine We've got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. It'll be really fun though. What's on the schedule for tomorrow? Like what? 
what panels are there. Sarah doesn't know how Twitch works. Oh, well, that's fair. <laughs> That's totally legit. Um, let's see. So tomorrow, the panels are going to be crafting coffee, um, advanced J fashion layering for extreme weather, Kanzashi Christmas flowers accessories. Um, it's always high tea time podcast, delicious snacks for tea time, Lolita fashion patterns and sewing, organizing your Lolita wardrobe. That's me teaching you about spreadsheets basically and sarah's gonna or sarah uh, bread is going to show you how to do pivot tables we're gonna have the fashion walk which is gonna be super great um that one's always everyone's got really good looks for that we've got a little bit of plus size panel we've got a western fashion and kimono mix panel and kawaii or kawaii which is always a fan favorite lolita christmas cards with yumi yum yum and shoujo aesthetics with kelp and that's what's on the schedule tomorrow. Yeah, get hyped. Okay, that took a lot of effort. <laughs> Wait, why do I not hear you? Is it just me? I can't hear you. I'm so lonely. Oh, yay. Yeah, please try to make it to the panels. Um, because I'm vain. I want people to go to my panel. <laughs> Yeah, planning out your stuff in advance is important. Ray, I still can't hear you. She gone. Wait, I heard something. Hello, hello. It's I hear right. tapping. Do you hear me now? Yeah. <gasps> I don't yeah. know how my mic got muted because I literally didn't touch it, but apparently it got muted. <sighs> You do. You do need goodness. Also, also, me and Jessica are mutuals with Sarah, so she needs to come to our panels to support us. <laughs> because House Hunter. Haunter. No. Please come haunt my house. Yeah, tell her to come haunt us. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I did with my sweater, but I'm wearing it. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Okay. It's time to go to sleep. <laughs> it's time. We should go. Uh, Thank you to everyone who's still here. Um, I'm out of the world, so yeah. we actually have to sleep eventually. Um, tune in tomorrow for some fun content and also for the rest of the weekend. We're going to be doing no the tea party. Cat. I don't know where the cat went. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, yeah. Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. Be like, yeah. These these bitches, you know. They're just out here doing dumb shit. Literally. <laughs> it's hot girl shit. Okay. That's the correct term. <laughs> Bye. Thank you guys for hanging out. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry if you expected like informative panel for that, but um, the title was Cocktails and Crafting. So you I don't think anyone expected <laughs> anything. We're not knitting sweaters here, okay? <gasps> Good night, Nari. Thank you so much for modding this entire time. <laughs> yeah, why <laughs> didn't you? Like, yeah. It's because she doesn't sleep either. It's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna need to get me some more alcohol for tomorrow. It's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. Thank Thanks. you guys for hanging out. Thanks for tuning in from Winter in the Woodlands. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Bye. Good night. <laughs>